What's up YouTube, Mr. LaMessi here, and today we're going to be starting a Hell Guided Playthrough for the Boazon. So, we have a Javazon slash Boazon, kind of, right? The other Amazon Guided Playthrough is just a generic leveling one that kind of takes advantage of both. Here we're going to focus on just sticking with the bow all the way through the game. Now we will be going with an elemental bow, I'll be going with fire and ice. Uh, very low chance that we actually shift into a physical bow, as a physical bow is on kind of requires a little bit more gear. So it's definitely something that's possible. Going through normal and nightmare with it isn't as bad, but I have done a physical bow is on as before, um, not with a guided playthrough, just playing through the game. And it was just, I had to farm a lot to get Bereza so that I could have a bow that was actually decent enough to strafe with in hell. And it was still like, kind of okay. So I figure fire and ice will be better. Um, we don't have to worry about all the attack rating and stuff as much. We can just hit and have fun and just kind of crush stuff with the elemental damage. So with that being said, let's jump on over to our character right here. We can take down the image as we're just going to be in single player. And this is just going to be guided bow. Nice and easy. So, like I say, the first thing that we'll kind of talk, kind of do is talk about the character a little bit, right? We're going to be focusing in this tree. Exploding arrow is going to be our fire arrow of choice, and freezing arrow is going to be our ice arrow of choice. Immolation arrow, unfortunately, just isn't that good. Um, exploding arrow is just better. You get the, the full explosion, kind of that big AoE shot, whereas the immolation just burns on impact, doesn't really do as much. Um, but it is useful for a synergy if you would like. Uh, no, it's not a synergy. Excuse me. Sorry, I thought it was, but it's the reverse way is a synergy. Um, and then freezing arrow is very nice. You get a similar idea, but it freezes, right? So it's actually a very safe um, build. Very, very solid. So yeah, we'll be focusing exploding and freezing. And then over here, we'll be going for pierce when we get to level 30. Uh, just to get the piercing chance. Because when we can pierce through... Um, that's just going to be really nice, right? Then it continues through and can hit again. So that's always super good. Uh, if you want to go into Valkyrie, you can. I doubt we'll really do a Valkyrie in this run. But maybe we'll put a point over there later or something. Especially if we have a piece, we could put one point, get the piece to proc, get the level 15 Valkyrie, and that could be nice. Um, and then, of course, we won't be doing anything in the Javelin Tree. For stats-wise, uh, we'll be focusing really in Vitality. I'll actually be pumping some energy on this character. The reason is because Exploding Arrow and uh, and Freezing Arrow, you can see, just have high mana cost, right? Nine mana for that, um, five mana here, and they're going to go up. And so when you're shooting very quickly, you're just going to burn out of mana so quickly. So getting some points in energy can be helpful just to counteract that. And then getting a little plus to mana on a ring or whatever it is is very useful. For strength, we'll be using very minimal strength, just enough for our gear, and even then our gear shouldn't require too much. Dexterity might need a little bit more if we find like a bow that we really want to use. Finding bows with plus to skills will be good for this character, because obviously plus to skills is going to be helping out the elements a lot, which is really nice. Um, we don't really care about attack rating or anything though too much. And then of course, everything else will be going into vitality. So with that being said, we will start with our javelins for level one and then we'll shift over to a bow pretty quickly go into fire and then go into exploding arrow this land of the so let us begin let's play some alerts through if there aren't any there while we uh continue thank you john Dar. So, just going to go out and level up nice and easy, right? Hello, YouTube. My YouTube voice is more kind than my stream voice. Enjoy the beautiful guide. It's the same, same voice. Just the same. Hello, YouTube. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, and shields are annoying, bell. so... He uses his best voice for you. It's the least you can do for Llama. Thank you for that. But, you know, just same voice. Um, so yeah, we'll be jumping into the bow. I'll be going fire arrow just for right from the start. You, honestly, it's faster to level up using your uh, javelins. And then you can shift into exploding arrow at level 12. But 
we'll go ahead and do it this way for the sake of, you know, being a, a boson, right? Try and go for that full boson playthrough. So we'll be going into fire arrow. It's a deep shog. It's a deep shog. And we'll just go with vitality right here. Going into dexterity would have also been okay, but we'll it's come so cute around that you to that put on soon. A manly voice for you two. It's the same voice. How come us Twitch plebs don't get the sexy voice? It's not. Oh my god. <laughs> That's right, one. Um, okay, let's go see what bow we have. We actually found a bow and arrows, which is kind of nice. We do want to get into this, but that'll be later. Here's a fun little three socket bow. And we can sell some of this, grab this, why not? Get rid of that. Put on some arrows and buy a couple extra arrows. Good day. And put one right here and get our fire arrow. So we'll do the Den of Evil. You get a plus to skill point, which is really nice. And you get your respec as well. So for both those reasons, we like it. Thanks, Daniel. Make sure to, uh, and you can see we're already out of mana. I mean, it's so, you burn out of mana so fast on these characters. Thanks, Bamboo. But we're just gonna look for some gold, pick up whatever we can. Kill the shamans, of course. Classics. <laughs> Congrats, you just bought a better bow than a pluck eye. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of the early unique bows are really not great at all. UFF, that if you watch the YouTube voice. bow guided or the bow play tier list, you'll you'll see. Manly YouTube voice. No, no, just just n normal voice. Normal voice here. Me want D2R. We all want D2R. We all want D2R. For sure. So one thing that you're really going to want to look out for while you're playing through this is rubies. Okay? Chipped rubies, flawed rubies, rubies rubies of every kind are amazing because they'll actually add to the exploding arrow damage of your character. If you can somehow find a way to put a recording of this voice on your dating profile, then it won't matter that you look like a serial killer. Join my army of the dead. Llama, when will we get more streams of Mama Llama feeding you fudge bars? Don't look like a serial killer. All right, I will beat you. That's not fair. The The line break was really unfortunate. Um, I mean, I'm always down for another fudge bar. Always down for another fudge bar. <laughs> Kill some baddies. Hello, hello, two charms. But yeah, so added fire damage will add to our exploding arrow, which will be very nice. We'll keep bumping up our fire arrow here, and I'm actually gonna put three points into dexterity so we can use a hunter bow. So that's very important. You wanna have 28 decks for the hunter bow by level three. Do you get right? audio at tier one or tier two sub? It's not how it works. Just over a week. What character are you starting with? Sorceress. I'll be going for worlds first. Uh, worlds first bail and Uber Tristram kill. Get that first torch in D2R. Hopefully it's a 2020 pally. If it is, we'll sell it for $100,000. I think that's a fair price. Instantly get panned for RMT. Now, you might say, why aren't you picking up this blue bow? And the big reason is because there's just very little reason why, right? Like, 15 attack rating. Okay, we could put it on right now. But, like, my three open saga bow with any jewels or charms, or I mean gems, is going to have anything better than this bow could give me at this level. So generally it's like not worth Sell your time for yourself, that. Also we're gonna be upgrading. Afterward as a gift. Ooh, that's a smart idea. Somebody's done it before. 
Um, but it's just not going to have anything that's going to be worth it. Because once again, we're going to go back and be getting a, a hunter's bow anyway. And we really want to get a three open socket hunter's bow. Because then we can, like I said before, start putting rubies in, add to the fire damage, and really start Audio doing some damage, right? Audio with sub video with tier three, just so guys know. Llama needs this money as his OnlyFans isn't doing too well. Mr. Llama Heart. My OnlyFans is do I don't have an OnlyFans. Gosh dang it. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, strangling gas potions are actually <sighs> fantastic. Meat. Thank you, Depraved. You'll want to save these. Um, they can really help with some AoE at level 6 and 7 there. But we'll come back here. We'll get some scrolls if we can afford any. I'll sell this because I want to have this. Oopsies. Wrong scroll. Now that, that one. Fans is removing nudity, there we go. Where is the bulk of your income going to come from? Uh, they they reverse that, so now nudity is allowed. Four to strength, twenty three max stamina, not really worth it. Eight max stamina, very pathetic. To get audio, your tier sub multiplied by the number of months you've been subbed must be equal to or greater than half your age plus two. It's a very complicated formula. Llama's on top of the OnlyFans news. I mean, it was all over the Twitter. How would you know that if you don't have an OnlyFans? Hmm? I'm gonna go ahead and buy a sash. Um, buy a two-open socket armor. His charity where he feeds llamas to starving kids is doing better than his OnlyFans. And this is actually a two-open socket bow, but I'm gonna buy this because ultimately I'm gonna probably want to make a Zephyr. Um, do I want to make a Zephyr? Eh, just in case we do. Kind of a, if we want to make a Zephyr, we can. And that'll be Ort F. Now, Rao 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 is the other bow that we could be going for. But now we can shoot a little bit faster. This is a little bit faster than the uh, short bow. Also, getting some mana per kill on this character can be very nice. As once again, she does just run into mana issues. So getting some Rao runes and some tier runes are super, super nice. What's the earliest six socket bow? Oh god, not till hell. How is it that the first time I saw Llama was his Ocarina of Time playthrough and lo and behold, he has become my all-time favorite streamer. Love you, Llama. Keep doing you always. That's very sweet. Also very surprising that you, you saw me and you're like, hey, an Ocarina of Time Zelda streamer. Nope. <laughs> and now we'll go into Vitality. Fresh Long Warbow can get six. Yeah, but you have to have it. You can't get the six sockets until you find it. At least somewhere in Nightmare, right? You're not going to find anything over eye level 41 prior to that. Thanks, MD. Norm Bale's throne room. I don't think you'd be able to... I mean, could you? If I found a long war bow in normal Bale's throne room, I would be able to get six open sockets on it. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. I would not have guessed that. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to level up here. You can always... Arrows actually drop a lot. And you'll notice that whenever you pick up arrows, it auto-restocks and puts the leftovers here. So you can very easily just pick up arrows and then drop it. And it'll have refilled your stack. Even if it fails to pick up because you have no room in your inventory, it should still um, cap off your stack anyways. You got a shale from Nightmare Forge? That's not bad. A little low, but... Okay, we'll just keep going Vitality and keep going Fire Arrow. Where we'll deviate is when we go Magic and Multi-Shot at 10 and 11. 
So then at 12, we can get Exploding Arrow. Your dating profile and your last Barb speedrun had a lot in common. The outcome to both is just fisting a lot of dudes. All right. Uh, more like successful. It was successful. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we'll just make our way through the underground. Oh, about passive and magic skills? We're not going to worry about passive and magic until we actually get um, to level 30. Because at that point, we will want to get pierce. Other than that, I mean, dodge, avoid, evade. We're not really going to care about that much. You can get all locked up with them, which kind of sucks. Um, How to successfully fist dudes to hell and back with no mercy. That's right. So these actually are kind of bad skills for the Amazon. Not quite as terrible for a Boazon as a, a Javazon. It says rapper, do you rap? Exclamation mark rap. Given up on Jump King? Yo, we beat Jump King. I don't know what you're talking about. Given up. Thanks, Azaleos. Thanks, Cactus. Isn't there crit? Yeah, there's a chance for crit, but we're going to be doing elemental damage, remember. So you aren't going to be critting the elemental. Can I upload video on YouTube later? I think I did, right? Long time viewer here, mostly on YouTube for the guides and tutorials that you do. I really appreciate the effort you put into them. Since I have been Thank watching you. this stream, I can't help but notice the lack of passion in your voice for the Twitch crowd. I feel cheated, so I am heading back to YouTube now. Perfect. Appreciate it. Mana Recharge Shrine is very nice for this character. It's very lovely. Um, so here I have this Chip Topaz. And there's a couple of ideas for the Chip Topaz. The first one is you can just shove some Topazes in like armors and things to get yourself some magic find. Which can actually be really useful for finding some Blood Fist or Hisaris or something early in the game. We're very LGBT so it's actually friendly. nice. Additionally, I could just put it in a bow right now about to just do extra damage, dudes. you know? Not a lot of girls, though. Now that I think about it, bisexual might not be the most accurate label. <sighs> what? Fresh meat. I missed Mr. all Lama of that. SC gifted a tier one sub to Zallard. Thank you, Zallard. Wait, that was me. But also, thank you, Zallard. Oh my god, we got a terrible map. I'll be playing my sorceress to start. What is this map? Okay, no, not as bad. I thought it was wraparound. Anyways. Killing some dudes. So the last barb was all about fisting dudes. Necro is always about boning dudes. Is this Amazon going to penetrate with her arrows? <sighs> she will be. I mean, penetration or penetrate is literally a skill. Thanks, Spaxy. So don't come to me about that one. Don't look at me. You talk to David Brevik there. Hey, Llama. Now that you've pulled of a no-weapon barbarian, think you can pull of a completely naked run on a class. Just I've done it skills. already. No items. No charms? Uh, assassin and Druid both. Assassin was nine hours. So it was way faster than I expected. And Druid was like 12. Uh, six poison damage is nice. Gold is pretty pointless, and more gold is also pretty pointless. Um, we like little poison things, though. A camel. We like we like that. 
Also, we're gonna have these uh, strangling gas potions because, like I said, that's very helpful. Amazon in an eight-man group till you can switch to lightning fury, charged strike. Exploding arrow, honestly, is great. Or poison jabs, one of the two. What haven't I done in D2? Conversion paladin. A gift for you. Mr. Llama, this is my first time messaging, and I just want to say I've been watching you for a few years and have enjoyed every minute of it. Aww. Want you to know before D2R makes you famous. Thank the you. The stream is much better since I subscribed and can hear you now. That's not. So now we can use these strangling gas potions, and like I said, these are just very useful because they're going to give you all that nice AoE damage that you weren't getting from Fire Arrow. Help me! Hey, Llama, do you know what hey. you call it when you manually write down your character's abilities in class based on their backstories? Penetrate. Get it? Like all the weirdos making dirty jokes, but also a skill, but also a word. It's a joke. Like, haha. Like, haha. It's a joke. Like, haha. -ha. In case we forgot what a joke was. Zitritz and Jeez Louise, thank you. Uh, no. Ah, fresh meat. Okay, we'll continue with our fire arrow. Thank you, Juke Guy. We got another two open sockets, so I'm actually gonna go for my magic find strategy here. We're gonna run a little bit of magic find. And keep going Vitality. We'll, we'll be jamming Vitality up for the most part. Also, we're a little short on arrows. More stranglings never hurt nobody, though. Well, that's actually not true about strangling, I guess. Thanks, 586. Yep, we did a enchant sort. And hopefully somebody drops arrows, but we'll see if not. Now, one fun thing to note is if you have a cube, two bolts makes arrows. That's a crafting recipe. And two arrows makes bolts. So if you ever are out and you need some more arrows and you have a cube, and you find two sets of bolts lying around, you can just shift those over. Good to see you. We'll just buy and resell. And we will put this away. If you're doing a physical zone, you'll probably go a little more into decks as things go along. Um, but you'll still be pumping Vita mostly. Still be pumping vitality mostly. Okay, we'll keep going. Now we're gonna be running a few towers. Uh, the main reason is because in the tower, did we get the waypoint in the Black Marsh? God, I don't even remember if we did or we just like went right in. We had to have, right? In the tower is a, uh, no, we didn't. Oh my God. All right, well, we'll run back out then. Um, in the tower is the Countess who drops runes, and we like the runes that she drops. We're looking for Tal, F, and probably two tiers and three Rao runes is like our optimal, but you know, we would take less, right? That's just like a perfect setup. We'll go with more fire arrow. Also, you could get some cold arrow at this point if you wanted, just for a little variety of your bow. But the fire and exploding is going to be better for us early on. Thanks, Azel. And we're always going to be focusing on these boss groups, right? That's one of the big important things, is we want to not always kill every monster. But if we can kill those bosses, it's going to be much better for our character as they give 500% experience. Which we like. Tier Nef Eld. Sounds good to me. 
Oh, gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Have it. All right, well, we're going to run again. How does that sound? So while we're running, let me talk a little bit about the character in the game. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you make mistakes, and that's okay. Um, so yeah, like I say, with with Fire yeah, Arrow, no, early is gonna be eh. Hey YouTube, later I'm it'll be better. Llama a little bit, but he's really a great host, and the Twitch streams are really fun, and Llama fosters a great environment. Thank you. You should join us. He's you not should. great with women, so that leaves a lot All right, more time he not, spends on us. That's not it's true. Great. I could be great with a woman if I wanted to. Um, more vitality. Um, but yeah, is this a great starter character? I would say that the Elemental Boson is a medium character for, for that. I wouldn't recommend this character as the starter for you to play. Um, if you're like a brand new noob or something. The Amazon doesn't have the best frames overall, and so it's going to be a little difficult. Um, what is your favorite Pokemon? Tangela. Not recommended. But, with that being said... I think it's still decent. Yeah, it's a decent mausoleum farmer. Um, you can have fun with it. And the nice thing is, if you're running cold and fire, then you actually are going to be not terrible playing through, as you're not going to run into, like, straight immunities, like a frost maiden or something. Tangella looks like so, ball hair. <laughs> that's not appropriate. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> When going for world first in D2R, are you planning on solo or as part of a group? I'll be in a group. Family friendly. Frost Maiden's the way though, just run by freeze immunes. Yeah, I mean it's the older and preferred so a reminder that way for a lot of it. Start at 45. Walgreens makes it particularly easy. They had me swallow a disposable camera. Then a bad boy punched me in the gut to make the shutter go off. Some coffee and an hour later, I had doubles to share with the family. <laughs> what even is that? Oh. So make sure that you get the waypoint in the Black Marsh. Um, don't be silly like Llama. Make sure you get the waypoint, otherwise you're going to be in trouble like that. But we got a couple boss groups on the way. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. But you can see once again that I'm focusing on those boss groups and like the boss and the minion, right? I'm focusing on both of those. Okay, we'll go ahead and run forward here. And this is something that you can always implement in your play is setting TPs, then running forward to the next waypoint to then go back to the TP for whatever objective you need to accomplish. Ever streamed a no waypoint run? Yeah, we've done runs with like no healing, no waypoints, no TPs, and you know, all sorts of stuff. Is strafe or multi-shot preferred? So that's not going to be for this character, but generally strafe is preferred in a PVM setting. Uh, Multi-shot people generally prefer for PvP. Multi-shot guided. No town runs are the most fun. They are crazy. What's the hardest but still fun challenge you've ever done? I mean, I actually really enjoyed the punch barb. Why bow over jav? Because this is the bow is on guided playthrough. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to level Misa Assassin Melee, no traps. Is this doable for Misa hell? Heard it's it's not going to be fun, Misa but heard if you know a show yes. be drawing. Drawing going on billboard outside your apartment for Buku big times. Thank you. Really enjoying your content lately. Appreciate that. And you can always, if you're at any vendor, let's say that I want to get more strangling gas potions and more arrows. I can sell the potions, and now look, they're 25 quantity instead of 5. I can buy them back. Arrows, I can sell the arrows, they're now maxed again. I can buy the arrows, and just like that, I've maxed the quantities. You can do this with your tomes, you can do this with anything that has a quantity like that. 
long as you have the money to buy it back, you're good to go. Well, five head strats right there. Cheating. Something like that. We'll go ahead and kill Bone Drinker. And some minions. And we'll level up here. And somebody dies. Hey llama, long time lurker looking for advice on D2R. Uh -huh. What non-hammer paladin build would you recommend for HC solo and group play with four friends? Thank um, you for all the great guides and content all together. Honestly, at that point, running a running a like salvation conviction support paladin is gonna be better. So I'd recommend just kind of being more of a support character than a damage character. Um, yeah, conviction in a in a really like elemental focused group is so really 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 good. Just a walking buff. But yeah, you could do like conviction and vengeance if you wanted. Ooh, okay. So we have a gem shrine. I'm gonna keep it and. Pray that we can find a ruby, and then we can use it on the ruby. I'm so sick of people saying that you're not good with women. Right? I'm sure the sorceress and Amazon would disagree. All right, that's, I'm not. Okay, I'm good with women that aren't also video game characters. Okay, we have a shrine right here. Keep it until Andy. Well, we're going to be resetting, unfortunately, prior to that. Also, I'm going to get five strength here. I just want to get to 25 strength at some point. That's not what the accounting department says. All right. That's, they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, and the reason for that is because we want to wear a belt. And belts are 25 strength for the ones that are 12 potions instead of 8. Hey, a spear for the amazing spears on. A gift for you. Woot. Thank you. Why am I in a boot? Broke my ankle. You'll also notice how many mana potions we chew up compared to other potions. So your inventory should primarily be uh, mana generally. And there's the chipped ruby just like we wanted. Let's actually go take care of that right now before we forget and leave it alone. Uh, fresh meat. Thank you, Darkly Duck. So this is just gonna be more damage. That's it, right? This is just purely additional damage. So how does a gem shrine work? At nightmare we go I O doll I O doll I O doll I O dolly O doll I O doll. Oh my god, no. So basically, how it works is if you have no gems in your inventory, it'll drop a random gem. But if you have a gem, it'll upgrade that gem. So we are, we, will, we are guaranteed to get a flawed ruby right now. If we had multiple gems, it would upgrade one of the gems. So we just make sure we have just the ruby in our inventory, and then we upgrade it. Now we got some more fire damage. Perfect for our bow later. And we can actually go back to town. And since we're going into fire bows here now, we can actually start farming for the bow we want by just going back and forth. And remember, we're looking for a three open socket. If you have flawless, do you get perfect? Yep, it's very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, perfect. And we'll probably need, so we can sell this and buy this bow. We can save this two open socket for later in the event we want it. 17 months, crazy times. I hope you're well, Llama. And now we add our fire damage. Ooh, a nice little 10 to life small charm too. Additionally, I'm gonna go ahead and save some rejuve potions as we don't super need them at the moment, but they will be useful later on in Hi, the game. Hi, MR Llama. First Hi. time commenter, long time listener. Uh-huh. Quick question. 
Do you, as a streamer, no idea. ever get tired of being sick and injured? Great yes. content. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Very good question. Um, okay, we'll get a little bit there. And we are low on gold, so hopefully we can pick up a couple things with some gold. Ah, fresh meat. Thank you, Slug. Average and FLQ. And now we're good to keep rolling. There's some arrows. Pick that up and restock ourselves. And toss them on the ground. I'm going to be focusing on exploding arrow and then freezing arrow later. The nice thing is exploding arrow is only 40 skill points. Because it has one synergy in fire arrow. So they kind of match up well where you can actually do both. And it's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Yes, they are releasing at 10 a.m. U.S. Central Time. 8 a.m. Pacific on the 23rd. In the configure controls, Jim, you gotta set that up. Okay, so we're level 9. Last point there, 10 and 11. Magic arrow and multi shot. And once again, we're back on vitality. We're not going to need anything else right now, like I say, with the exception of energy, um, where we'll be putting some points just to help out the character some. Crit doesn't work with heli damage. Yes. Crit only crits the, the uh, physical damage. So if, when, when I shoot an exploding arrow, let's say, it'll always explode, but... The explosion is the fire, el the explosion fire elemental damage. The actual arrow may or may not hit depending on my attack rating. We don't actually care if it hits because that's just the little physical piece that doesn't do a lot for us. If it does hit, that piece could crit. But once again, that's such a small piece of what we're actually doing here. No, I gotta still get that set up, Tank. I really appreciate your guided walkthrough that brought me back to D2 a year ago. Keep it up. Thank you. Okay, so we got an Eth rune. That's nice. So that helps us with our Tal Eth for the stealth armor. And we got a little bit of gold in the Sacred Globe. Maybe like six, 700 from it. Oh, not even 438. But we got even more stranglings. Enough to get us some potions there. Good to go. It's Jondar. And now I can continue to check around and we just want to check shrines for the experience shrines. See if we can find one before we uh, go down into the tower here. I'll actually take the mana. Now, this is why I think these guided playthroughs are very helpful. Hello, Mr. Llama, long time caller. First uh -huh. time listener. As a streamer, yep. I wonder and just wanted to ask. Yep. Pause for dramatic effect. Okay. How's your day going? It's okay. How are you feeling? Good. Thank you. Twitch let me know you were streaming. It reminded me to close my incognito tabs. Uh -huh. I am still looking for your only fans. That's not a thing. Um, this is why I think it's actually really helpful with these guided playthroughs. And what I believe my content overall brings that you don't get from a lot of places. And that is simply the um, idea of all of, the, all of those rules that people tell you, such as never put points into energy, yada, 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 right? All of that stuff doesn't matter when you're playing through the game because you can respec out of it and there's a ton of great uses for a lot of those things, right? So somebody who plays like this bow is on, if they always think that putting points and energy is always worthless and the worst thing they can do, then it's going to be, they're going to have a much more miserable experience playing through the game 
because they're going to get amazing quality of life, 10, 15 points in energy, uh, that they would always think they could never put. But, of course, that's, you know, people only build endgame builds, endgame guides. Everything is only focused on the perfect character and never the character that doesn't have the Griffins or the Shakos or, the, you know, all those things, right? The character that just kind of exists and a lot of us play. Um, so that's something that I hope people will get from the guides is a better understanding of don't worry about all of those guides and all of their little rules and stuff. When you're playing through the game, there's a lot of different things you can do that are totally fine. How much do you think an Annie will cost in D2R Battle.net? Uh, I mean, it depends if SOJs get duped a ton and whatnot. You know, I mean, we'll have to see how everything goes. Agreed, Camel. Should Blizzard put out balance patches? I mean, I think that's something they might consider if, if the game sells well and people are enjoying it. Neff, Neff. Really not getting the runes right now. But that's okay, because once again, what is the primary purpose of this runes? What is the secondary purpose? Experience. And there is a lot of experience for us still to get here. So... We are totally fine to keep farming. Now, eight defense. Help me. Oof, wow. Min maxing guides are terrible for single player. Yeah. Just terrible. Just terrible. Now, let's look at these things. Eight defense, seven life. Defense is pretty irrelevant. We're not going to care about defense nearly at all. Uh, seven to life is nice, but on a grand charm, that's just way too much inventory space. You could keep this very early on if you really wanted. I'm just going to charge here right now. It's not worth my time. Now this ring, 8 light res is nice. Magic damage reduced by 1. That's literally 1 damage. But if a monster hits you for like 4 magic damage, now it hits you for 3. It can actually be uh, nice. Uh, magic damage and physical damage reduced by 1 isn't terrible. And at this low level, it's actually super nice. And then some attack rating. This will help our fire arrows hit right now. Um, because that is requiring the it's not till exploding arrow that we get that always hit from the explosion so we want some attack rating right now now this jewel is actually pretty decent three max damage 10 ar um i'm kind of sad that we got this jewel <laughs> unlike this character because that's actually pretty sick but we like it doesn't really matter for us uh so you could sell it just to get some gold if you wanted or because right now we're still level 10. And I'm going to go ahead and put points in energy right now. Um, and then one in magic arrow. Because we're level 10, I'm actually going to use it. Uh, because, you know, for a couple levels, why not? So we'll get a two open socket helm. And once again, you can always just go and shop that. There's a lot of little things you can shop. 10 fire res, hit recovery, half freeze duration, whatever. Um, and we'll put it in. Because, uh, you know, why not? Let's use it. Three three to max damage and ten more AR for us. It's not terrible. It'll help us farm a little bit faster. And we'll grab the skill shrine here. Once again, experience shrine is still going to be our most desired shrine. But, yeah. And light radius is great for D2R. Truth. My fab videos you have made are the speedrun guides you did a few years ago. I watched the whole playthrough play piece. Finally able to beat the game. Nice. I hope you remake them at some point. Remake in D2R. Hi Llama. That whole playlist you're saying? Long time listener. Uh -huh. Quick question. Yeah. As a streamer, right. do you ever get strained when you are forced to use your YouTube voice? It's just the same. Just the same voice. <sighs> Fresh meat. Thanks, Cantankerous. Have we really not done a bows on yet? No. We did an Amazon that had some bow and some, but it, it ended up, it was like the generic Amazon. So we did a little bit of bow when we got to Exploding Arrow, and then we did uh, just, you know, jabs through Nightmare and Hell. Okay. 
at him. What are the chances they release an expansion if it's successful? I I think there's actually not a not a zero percent chance that Blizzard <sighs> does more with D2R if it's successful. I think there's actually a small chance. I don't I don't think it's massive. I think it's a, a low chance, but a chance nonetheless. Thank you, Driz. Now, will it be good? Will they mess things up? Who knows? I mean, once again, we have old D2 whenever we want. So now we have another ruby. We have a chipped ruby right here. 1 to 5 lightning damage, 10 FCR. We'll probably end up selling that. FCR is worth a lot of gold, so that's nice. Um, and it can be helpful later on in the game if we're trying to cast, you know, something like our teleport stuff. Hey, Biz. We play StarCraft later? Potentially, but no promises. Spamming Intersight? Yeah. Who's going to be the boss in Act 6? Lilith? I don't know. If you were to add another character class type in D2R, what would you choose? What is missing from this current all-star lineup? Uh, some sort of angelic character. <laughs> Love it, Emra. Monk? We just did the monk on the punch barb. What's your best guess of how they resurrect Big D to be a boss in D4? Some dude picks up a stone and shoves it in his head? I don't know. Um, okay, so we got another Rao rune. And the reason Rao runes are good, as you can see, adds 5 to 30, 30 fire damage. So just like we're doing with these gems in our bows, we could do this with Rao runes later if we wanted. Overall, still pretty disappointing on the... Uh, Rune drops, though. Greetings. You know, it's classic. We'll buy more of that. We actually still have plenty of strangling gas potions, so we don't need to buy and sell there. And let's keep running a little bit. Now, I would definitely recommend Tal and Eth. I think those are the two runes that are very highly desired and pretty necessary. Beyond that, the other runes are kind of nice to haves, so I wouldn't worry too much if you don't get like all those Rao runes or anything. Once again, um, you'll already have kind of a fire bow. You can run, uh, let's do multi-shot, and I'm going to go more energy. You can run, uh, you know, kind of whatever you want with that stuff and be perfectly fine still get good fire damage later. You'll see, even with that fire bow, and or a Zephyr, because while a Zephyr isn't going to have the added fire damage, it will have the increased attack speed on it, and that's gonna be useful, because getting IAS, shooting faster, is still good for something that does a big explosion, right? Like, the more that you can get that explosion to go off, the more DPS you do. Anything that breaks magic immunities? No. Magic immunes have nothing to break them. Help me. Came here from YouTube to tell the community that the demon machine crossbow is bonkers on paladins and sorceresses for those looking for a really good crossbow build. Interesting. I know demon machine's actually decent. But I've never really used a crossbow sorceress or paladin build a gift for you could you clarify for chat not me obviously whether other elemental gems add to other elemental skills the same way fire does to exploding arrow clearly no. i know the answer this is just for others not me i totally know the answer right um yeah so it's it's not something that exists on everything like you're not gonna add like chip topaz to your assassin and have her uh, traps do more lightning damage or anything like that um 
it's it's pretty unique here to this character and these skills. I, I, I would imagine cold damage adds to the freezing arrow explosion as well. I'm not a thousand percent certain on that, but I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna be pretty sure that that would be a thing. It's possible that it's maybe unintentional, but it is a it's a you know, you're shooting an arrow, so you have this like physical aspect to it. Um Yeah, I, I'm not a hundred percent certain of every single combination of it. But It'd be something to do more testing on. Do a science stream to figure it all out. Yeah, exactly. For sure, binary. I can't carry any <laughs> yeah, I was thinking assassin martial arts would be like the only other place that you might see it. Could you have some added fire damage to, like, Phoenix Strike or whatever, Fist of Fury, and it adds to the actual explosion? Potentially. Haven't tested it, though. Hey, we got a Tau Rune. Okay. And we got another Eth, but we do have our Tau. So we have our Tau Eth, and we could just make that right now as well. So stealth armor, 25 faster run walk, 25 faster cast rate, 25 faster hit recovery, 60 dexterity, little mana regen on it, little MDR. Um, but the FRW and FHR is very primo. Really, really good for the starting out character. And we can go here and sell some of these because that's just way too many health pots that we're not going to need right now. And we'll just rebuy some arrows again. Nice and simple. Is one point into cold mastery good? On a sorceress? I mean, if you're doing cold damage, then yeah. Even more points is, is better, usually. Hey, another gem shrine. Perfect. Another flawed ruby for more fire damage. Ah, fresh meat. Thank you, Devonaut. Appreciate that. And this is actually something you can do where you just farm gem shrines. If you run around to like all the shrines in your black marsh, your stony field, your dark wood, uh, just over and over again, just kind of rinse and repeat. You can find gem shrines. I the, the best place to find them is stony field. So if you have like two gem two shrines next to a stony field waypoint, just. Just run that really fast. Um, and it's a great way to just upgrade those gems to perfects or whatever. But of course, of course, perfects have a level 18 requirement, so you know, be aware of that. And now we finally hit the big boy time. So now we do exploding arrow. And this is where everything goes boom. Which is great. Also, I'm gonna go a little more energy. We can probably leave at that amount. Thanks, bro. Thanks, you Xantrix. have next stamina Thanks, for all of your runs. And it's just so good. Absolutely crushing. Four to min damage. I mean, our helmet is just the physical bow's <sighs> dream. Fresh meat. Thanks, Escrows. Yes, there was a rare sash. No, we don't really care enough for it. Also, at this point, I'm going to turn off my main shot. I like to put it on just a hotkey so I can always essentially just shut it down. And you'll see that refilled the arrows, even though I didn't pick it up right. Or physical punch barb dream. Truth. I mean, any melee character would love a little helm like that. Five gifties from the S. Gross. Mwah! Thank you, thank you. I had a dream last night that somebody whose name started with B, I don't remember it exactly, Boros, Bo Bolios, I don't remember, it was a B name, gifted 50 subs twice in the channel. It was crazy. Ballisto? Maybe it was Ballisto. So 
So, that was my dream. Also something with Taylor Swift. I had one dream where I was dating Taylor Swift. Oh, it was such a good dream. I wish to wake up to that one. Again. One day. Ithral, okay, we got another Rao rune, that's nice. Still uh, no experience shrines really here, which is kind of sad. So I don't like to really run this character through the, or many characters through the tower past level like 13, 13 and a half. But one thing you can do, especially once you hit level 12, I wouldn't really do it before, is you can actually change the player's count in the game. So what this does is it simulates there being more people in the game making the monsters harder and everything, um, but giving more experience as well. So let's go ahead and try players three out. And the reason that I said it, I spammed it 10 times is so that it'll persist through the game. So in the future I can hit enter, up, enter, and it'll be right there on my text. But because we do decent damage now, I figure we can up that, and now we can get a little more experience while we're uh, killing some dudes. I can't. Simple as a rock. You watch it. That's my future wife right there, s &T. Did someone donate 800 and they not get the boot? Well, it was for this this run right here and, and another and stuff, so, you know, separate occasions. Seventy-two hour stream when D2R releases. You know, I was actually debating doing like a little subathon, but I feel like that'd be a bad idea if, because I feel like on a no, it's not eight hundred just for this run. <laughs> it's got a multi-runs purpose. We'll do another exploding arrow, and we'll go ahead and go back into vitality. If you're feeling the need for even more mana, feel free to put more energy. Honestly, it's okay. We're going to respec eventually anyways. And once again, we'll get rid of it when we want. Uh, Gustav, thank you. Impossible. I'm too old for a long time subathon. I mean, if I get to sleep during it, then I'm okay, you know. But the problem is, I feel like on those subathons, you want to have a mix of content. You know, like times where you're just chilling, not like feeling awful and everything. Right? Um, now, something that I do want to note is you do not want to kill the Countess on a, any count above players um, one. Always make sure you kill the Countess on players one for the most rune drops. Otherwise, she will drop less runes. I can't. It's just the way her drop table works. I can't. I need mana. Ethtal. We'll go ahead and move forward on it. That seems fine enough. We have uh, another Tal rune. We have our Rao rune here. Uh, I do wish that we had another tier rune, but that's okay. Let's see what this helm is. Eight defense, 27 gold from monsters. Pretty worthless. Two to strength, five cold res is better than attack rating for us right now. Because remember, we don't care about attack rating. And then that's just worth some money. We're also done with these strangling gas pots. And we can move forward. Who would I cast to play as the Countess in a D2 movie? Um... Uh, 
Uh, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. I kind of want her for Indario, though. Who played, uh... Ooh, Charlize Theron. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. I don't know Eva Green. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab the Malice. Now, with the Malice, I mean, even look how strong we are. Just dominate the Smith, you know? How often are you able to just pound him? Not very often, I tell you. Oops. Check out the cap, only one open socket. But yeah, so now at this point you can definitely use that imbue quest if you want early, or you can wait. Kate Beckinsale wouldn't be bad in it either. Wouldn't be bad at all. Good night. Um, but the thing is, with an imbue quest, the longer you wait, the better it, it gets. Imbue quests literally are just based on your character level when you imbue. So if you imbue something Coming at a later point, like a summer, nice circlet Diablo later. Two, the movie featuring Gary Busey as everybody K -E -K -W. There you go. Okay, so now we're running a little more magic find in our chest here. We'll keep pumping exploding arrow. That's not going to change for a while here. And vitality. We're just going to be on exploding arrow and vitality Fun over fact, and over. The first African actress to win an Academy Award for acting was Charlize Theron. She's from South Africa. Really? Interesting. about Aubrey Plaza? Is she also from South Africa? Audrey Plaza? Oh, oh, you're saying have her for a thing. Why no mercenary? Because the bow mercenary is terrible. Why, oh my God, you're gonna make me get a stupid bow mercenary? We'll give her this bow. I'll put that to good use. Go, Basanti, we love you. Imbue something. I mean, like I said, imbuing at this point would be pretty meh. There's not a lot of things that I'd really care to imbue. Usually later on, I'll try to imbue like a nice circlet and or I might try to imbue a pair of gloves to look for some like 20 IAS gloves with some nice mod, um, plus the bow skills. Uh, I might try to imbue some boots or a demon hide sash or something later. You know, we'll figure it out. Do you ever imbue a weapon? I mean, not really, generally because a lot of times your weapon's gonna be some sort of rune word and or some sort of, you know, gemmed bow or something. So it's rare that we do that. But I mean, you could every now and then, maybe you find some, you know, GMB that you wanna imbue and try for, eh, who knows. We'll kill some guys there. Couple questions, go ahead. Hi, Raggets. Um, Act 1 Merce is always bad. Generally, I mean, every now and then you'll have a character that you want to run like a faith bow on, you know. 
so you could use it there. But otherwise, if she's not running Faith, pretty much never worth it. Act 5 mercenary good? Yeah, he's actually okay. Act 5 mercenaries get used an okay amount. Not the worst characters. Edge isn't bad with summons. Eh. It's okay. I'd rather get an Act 2 mercenary, though, with, like, Miter or something for all my summons, honestly. If Act 4 had mercenaries, what would they be? I don't know. Uh... Isn't Fnatic great on summons? Well, yeah, like we said, a Faith Bow would be something, but... I mean, I could run an Act 5 or Act 2 Mercenary with Pride and have Might as his main aura, and that seems better overall to me, you know? Is there a video I have with mercenary info? I don't think so. Um, we talk about it a lot kind of in various areas, but I don't think I do have just a dedicated mercenary video. Probably a good one to make. Didn't even care to glitch her? Eh, she'll be okay. Addy could play her at Blood Raven. You know, actually not a bad casting choice. Can't believe you lost the StarCraft stream. What do you mean by lost it? It's right there. Merce tier list. Act 2. Greater than all. In 99% of cases. Next D4 update? I don't know. Too focused on D2R. What's my advice on Valkyrie? When's the right time? Honestly, whenever you want. I wouldn't really recommend it till hell because the characters can usually cruise pretty easily until then. But once you get to hell, it's super nice. Poison has a 15% chance to just be insane poison. Essentially like a critting poison. Ooh, heavy gloves. If only they were blood fist. They're actually a little bit worse than the gloves we have. All, the, all that. I'd rather just have the 10 AR. Or the uh, 10 fire res. We could sell them for some gold. I have not in deal. Go ahead and set a TP. Oh, don't even need to grab the waypoint. If we want to farm here, I mean, farming for like Bloodfist, Hasaris isn't a terrible idea. What up, G Money? Not the worst idea. I don't think Owen Wilson fits into my vision of the D2 movie. Um, do we want to pick up that ring mail? Probably doesn't matter. Let's see if... Let's give it to our mercenary. There you go, Basanti. You can use it. It's worth a little gold. That's about it, though. Did I see him in Loki? No. Hey, Mr. Llama, quick question. As yeah. an OnlyFans creator, do you ever get tired of pounding the same dudes? Refusing to answer that.
But we continue through. What's the race to worlds first? You see in the bottom corner. On launch, me and my team of players are going to be racing to uh, be the first people to kill Hell Bale and then do the Ubers. If you have a team of eight that is also going to be running for for that, please let me know. Uh, if you have anybody who's streaming it so we can have someone follow along as well with your guys' progress. I'm really hoping our magic find from our armor pays off with Indariel. Either way, you're gonna watch us murder Indariel as she has bad light or er, fire res. Negative 50. So, this should be quick. There you go. Yes, hungry and thirsty. Yeah. Ooh, meatball sandwich sounds good. Okay. This maiden shall inflict yeah. no more anguish. Yep. Yep. Um Okay, let's go get the ruby. And let's keep going forward. And at this point, to bug and Dariel, so you always get our quest drops. Though in D2R, you might automatically get them. But, if that's not fixed, you just go there and go east. And once again, more exploding arrow. And more vitality. Imagine not saying hi. Uh, this helm is whatever, but... We'll give it to Basanti so you guys feel happy that she has some things. And nine to mana. I, I actually kind of like right now more than the cold res. So I'll go ahead and hold this over here. We'll keep that. And uh, we can get rid of those. We'll get rid of our helm because it doesn't really do anything for us. We'll get a better belt. And by better, I mean now we have more sockets. And, you, and for some of you, you might have said, yeah, you're always going to have to talk to Warb to travel east, but you do it before you quit the game. That's how you do it. Um, and now we're going to come over here and just look for a two open socket helm. And we'll go for even more magic find. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and put the ruby in right now. Just to, to get our bow solid. What would I use skulls in? And eh, nothing really here. Um, poison res, kind of meh, so we don't need that grand charm, but the other charms are okay, a little bit of added damage is fine, and tend to life is going to be kept with us all the way through to the end game. That is a very good small charm there. <sighs> Fresh meat. Do this. Thank you, Machu. Sell that, grab that, and we're good to go. Let's keep rolling. Does magic find work on mercenaries? Yes. If a mercenary kills something, they will get your magic find plus their magic find. It's actually very nice. And this is also where getting anything with a little bit of light res can really help you out. Because beetles are a great experience, but they are a little bit deadly. But yeah, we've got this magic find here. And once again, like I said before, we could do some like magic finding on uh, Andario if we really wanted to. We don't have a great map for it. But maybe when we find the um, dry hills, we'll like go do a run just to have fun with it. Because why not? You gotta have a little bit of fun, right? Let 
Yeah, they're, they're implementing them. I don't exactly know what, but I mean, I think it's just the same way. You get the keys and then you use the keys. No fun is not allowed. Oh, okay, sorry. No fun is allowed. So we can leave the game. Come back here. And because we're so strong, we can kill and Dariel on players three, which gives us a much higher chance of her not having a no drop. So she'll drop a lot more things on players three. Impossible. You bug in Dariel so you get her quest drops. Like I say, in D2R, they'll probably change this or just fix it or whatever it is. But in regular Diablo 2, when you kill a boss, the first time and you get the quest completed, you get better drops than normal. Than other times that boss dies. With Endariel, it was a bug in the game where if you just traveled east and didn't leave the game immediately, then you would get um, her quest drops all the time from there on out. Which is nice. Okay. So yeah, now we got more magic finds, so that's why we're really gonna go at it here. I feel bad for Basanti. I trapped her on the other side of that room. All right, Basanti, get over here. Blood fist? Ah, nothing. All right, well, it's worth a try. So, like I say, you know, you can farm a couple times, try and get something nice. It's good, Kotri. Mm, I think her other armor was better. But either way, we got a little bit of money. And damage taken goes to mana. Actually, isn't terrible, but I just want to keep a jewel just to have a jewel for crafting purposes later on. Am I going to do sub -sember again? Never have done that before, so don't know what the again means. Cooley sees Detour as a new and different game, and I kind of like that perspective. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely got a little bit of a uh, different game style to it. <sighs> For Fresh sure. Locomatic! Wow. You're loco, man. With 10 gifted subs. That's crazy. Thank you so much. People popping off in September. That's not, I'm not saying I have a September. I'm just saying Twitch is having September. I can't. Okay, just to be clear. So on players three? Yeah, we can go back to players one. Twitch is having it 20% off subs and gifted subs. Oh my god, everybody with the audio. Honestly, we're so strong right now, and with our fire bow, we could definitely be running players three, just kind of all the time. I think I will, because why not, right? Like, helps with a little bit of experience. So one thing is when you get to act three, you generally have to spend some time leveling in act three because you need to get level 25 by the time you get to act five. Otherwise you get zero experience. Um, so if you can run like a higher player count earlier on, it's gonna allow you to get to that point much faster, which is really nice. Exploding arrow and vitality as Test. always. Test. No audio? Can't hear mic. Does this work? Test. Test. One, two, three, seven hundred seventy-seven million seven hundred seventy-seven thousand right. seven hundred seventy-seven. Yep. Yeah. Alright. 
Let's go back and look for the uh, cube. What do you mean, no experience? I mean, if you are not level 25 and you're in Act 5, you will get 5% of the experience from a monster. There is a uh, an experience ceiling that you have to break, and it breaks at level 25. So, until level 25, you do not want to go to Act 5. Oh, no, it all works. Okay, cool. Just a test. Everything's fine. Perfect. Everything's fine here. Uh -huh. Now, how are you? Experience table's kind of weird. I'm good. Thanks, Evo. That makes no sense. There's an experience floor and an experience ceiling. Basically, anything 10 levels above or below you is going to hit that. It's pronounced GIF. GIF. Exactly, GIF. Um... Thanks, Escros. Thanks, Imran. Ah, fresh meat. Escros underscore one gifted a tier one sub to Neck underscore underscore Romancer. They have given 37 gift subs in the channel. Oh my god. 77. Did I do the joke right? You got it. Nailed it. A gift for you. We pogging. We pogging. Thanks, Photon Shadow. Do I think Detour will be plagued by bots? Eh, probably. I hope not, but I'm realistic. Oof, scared me. Ooh, that smells good. Thank you, Rock. One to max damage. Doesn't really do a lot for us. Lightning res 17%. We do like. We'll put that over this one. But why does max damage not do a lot for us? Because, once again, the elemental damage is coming from the skill. The bow is, is it pretty. True you have to donate whatever. one million dollars to get audio. Let me just get my mom's credit card. Join my army of the At MR Llama SC, I'm 3D printing out a Horadric cube as I speak. Nice, love it, Tin Man. I can't. Thanks, Gustav. Thanks, Rock. Thanks, Tin. <laughs> Let's get our cube. Hard time trying to find a monarch. Just kill a lot of stuff. Mama El Llama is the best. Make sure to thank her from chat as well. Will do. That 3D cube better have impossibly rectangular interior dimensions. Mr. Llama Rage. That's right. What's for dinner tonight? Meatball sub. Yum yum. Join my army of the dead. Merlama, how does the grapes. level cap and experience work when you're using Ubers to power level a G rushed character? Al's you said ceilings and floors. Where are the walls, man? Um I mean it's the same thing. You can't use ubers anymore but you can do chaos runs and yeah you'll notice that a character is harder to level from 1 to 25 than 25 to like 40 50 whatever right and it's because of that they're still getting five percent experience it's just in the chaos there's so much experience they can still get some to level with but it's not as good all right well we tried with the armor but now we'll put our stealth on we can keep this for a boss if we feel so inclined. Wanna be cubing runes? 
I mean, eventually we'll probably keep some. Keep going, exploding arrow and vitality. Impossible. I'm not sure that's gonna change for a long while. Okay, go to level two. Aw, oh, thanks Trippy. Same to you. I want to give a big shout out to everybody on Twitch, on YouTube, on anywhere else. I appreciate you guys. I get to have a cool life and do all sorts of cool, fun things. Thanks to you. I really appreciate it. So, thank you all for supporting me. And, uh,. Whatever way, whether it's just, you know, telling a friend about the stream, just watching, subscribing, donating, hitting that follow button, whatever ways. You can be a freeloader. I love freeloaders because you know what 10,000 freeloaders on a stream equals? 10,000 viewers. And I get a lot of awesome deals and content and things from that, so... Yeah, man. No act two mers. People wanted the bow mers. We're doing it for fan service, not for out of our own, of our own volition. I can. Oh no, she died. I write the stream info on truck stop bathroom stalls. It's free real estate. Perfect. Thanks so much. Do I ever do hardcore ladder? I mean, every now and then. Wow, Camel. Me too. We were just talking about this the other day. Yeah. Who would have thought Evo and Camel have something in common? Trolling llama. Not as creative as you thought you were. Okay, we'll get rid of all that stuff. We like having the 13 fire res because boosting resistances is always nice. It's all we've done for years. Eventually, your minds meld. All right, but Shanti, come think on. What monopot would taste like IRL? Um. That blue Kool-Aid or blue Powerade or Gatorade, you know how its flavor is just blue? Like all of the other ones, thanks Lolan. All of the other flavors have some sort of like flavor profile like strawberry blast or whatever. But all of the blue drinks are just like blue. Glacial freeze. It's like what flavor is a is a glacier? I, I what? I mean, I'd be water flavored, but that's not what this is. Baja blast. I mean, what is the flavor? Less than three. <laughs> they don't. None of the blue blue flavors are actually listed with a flavor. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks, Devin Air and Trollies. I can't. <laughs> it's what plants crave. It's what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. Apparently, do on a mountain tastes like ah, number one. Yeah. Apparently. And glacier flavor. It tastes like salt, diesel, and whale tears. Mm -hmm. I'm a Pepsi sales rep, and I am been trigger right now, lol. There you go. Pepsi blue. What is the blue? Exploding arrow. Water? Like from a toilet? Uh. 
And vitality as well. Are we the blue? Maybe we were the blue all along. Huh. Sure makes you think, doesn't it? Impossible. Uh. I can't. Maybe we were the blue. I should ask my sister. <sighs> if I had a sister. I can. Ow. I can't. The blue is from Blue Hawaiian? What does that taste like? Why what is the blue flavoring? It tastes blue, man. <laughs> That's the only answer I've ever gotten. You know, it just tastes like blue. Like, what if colors had taste? Like, what does orange taste like? All right, well, that doesn't count because there's actually a fruit that's named in orange. Never mind, that's a bad example. What does red taste like? Gosh dang it, that was literally like the worst thing I could pick. Maybe violet also would be bad. <laughs> Thanks CKU, not September, set for audio. Just a friendly reminder. And do we need that scale mail? No, because once again, we've got our stealth. Really, no rare armor is going to improve us here, unfortunately. Red tastes like Hawaiian punch? Who determined that? Good money, though? That is true. If we need money, that's good money. Uh, 9 to energy, 30 light res is amazing. Let's take that plus to mana right there and 30 light res. We're going to use that for a while. Love to see it. Also, what is Hawaiian punch versus non-Hawaiian punch? Also a good question. You know? Oh man, this is gonna get so messy. Red tastes like meatballs? Mmm. I do love a good meatball. Mmm. Join my army of the dead. Fun Just keep fact, moving. in Guam it's called Chamorro Punch. Chamorro. Yum. I can. And once again, the nice thing is, because we've been running on players 3 here for a little bit, our experience is nice. We're almost level 19, which is very solid and helpful. And opens up the opportunity if we wanted to, you know, maybe do a rowl in a bow or something, right? We have, what, one rowl? Probably not worth it for us. If you have three rowl runes, I would definitely say that's worth it. There is a Mountain Dew Baja Punch, which is just a high-end punch flavor Mountain Dew. X8 BITV2 Shrug. Huh. I looked it up for you. Turns out the blue flavoring is actually... And... Pretty interesting. I would not have guessed that. What? Oh, it's Camel who cheered. Am I the first to find this arcane 
What are some optimizations you do while leveling a new character that you don't bring up in these guides? Uh, I mean, I bring up everything, really. Kill the bosses, changing the players when you can. And, uh, yeah, that's the main stuff, really. Does enchant cause a super explosion? Yeah, that'd be added fire damage. I would imagine it would work the same. But here you can really see the benefit of all this energy that we have. I mean, we're rocking 39 energy right now. And we're just not running into near as many mana issues, even though you can see it does go up, right? Every single skill point is another half of a mana cost, so. Have we killed Radiment? We have not. We could totally go kill Raddy though here in a second. Does having can't be frozen matter for a whirlwind barb? He... Yes and no. So sometimes being frozen on whirlwind actually isn't the worst thing because you get more hits in while you're frozen since you roll through them slower. So some people like being frozen on it. It's actually a, a strategy sometimes. But it can also be kind of annoying. It is an honor to save you. So, two to strength. Good day. You can die easier and stuff, you know. But up to you. Impossible. What's our magic find percent? Just our helm. Oh, Exclamation lucky. mark gear, there you can see my gear. But, Almost yeah, a sort so of sweet tanginess. It's a flavor that quenches a thirst you didn't know you had. Yeah. Blue tastes of summer skies and wide expanses. Blue is the taste of freedom. The taste of freedom. A gift for you. DND account password to check your rank. We need an anti-scamming video for noobs law. I mean, we could definitely do a video where we just go through all the like five most common scams or something. Stag bow. So here, this is nice, because we do get that plus one. The problem is it's one open socket, which kind of sucks. Um, if this was like two or three sockets, I would be much happier with it. Two socket, make a Zephyr, three, put Ral and stuff in it. Not just for speed but for here, anymore. we'll just bounce it. No, Seth, just for speed runs. We're going to second way this bad boy. Yeah, I know uh, Cooley did like a scams, but he did like a history of scams video more and went into some really in-depth ones. I just want to do like a quick like, hey. Don't do these three things and you'll save yourself from 90% of scams. You know Whirlwind is bad when you respect your fisting barb to Whirlwind and then comment on how slow it is. It's true. Do you think they will fix it in D2R to not be so useless? Not at first. <sighs> Unfortunate. Um, so I love Chance for Frost Nova boots. I'm, I'm a big ol' sucker for these bad boys. I'm gonna buy some because we don't have any good boots on. So we'll go ahead and buy a pair of these. And the reason is because whenever you get trapped in a dangerous area, your chance for Frost Nova boots will proc, freeze everything, slow it down. It's just super, super helpful. PVP and PVE bow. I mean, I like Wind Force and Faith. Faith is kind of the default bow I think used more often. You get the ignore target defense on it. You get the 300% attack rating bonus on it. You get the plus skills. You get the, you know, decent damage, fanaticism. Like, Faith has it all, right? Um, but Wind Force is the max damage. Literally the highest damage you can do with a bow. So if you just want to really, like, go ham on damage and just go crazy, Wind Force is still really fun for that. Best ring for Blue Source, you got SOJ? Yeah, it's probably the best ring. Unless you're looking to magic find or something. So 
a good one, Gazank. Hey, Llama, Fruit can I stag ask some advice? Sure. I took your advice and put. I will beat you on my dating profile, and now I have a restraining order. Do you have a contact number for a lawyer, seeing as you're so used to this? Anyways, continue. Step number one, make Mr. Llama SC username in D2R. Step number two, convince people to trust you by saying you obviously won't scam them since everything is on stream and you're a trustworthy guy. Step number three, mm -hmm. scam them. Step number four, profit. It's a very simple process to scam. All of chat, I suggest you try it. Don't give them that. That actually works. People do that every single day. Every day I get someone yelling at me in a YouTube comment about how I scam them in some game that I've never heard of. Imagine trading in the current year KEKW. Again, we can sell here for maxing these out. Uh, one strength, six poison res, we can just get rid of. And I'll actually keep the tier runes. And like I say, Gatorade doing a double flavors. tiered helm is cool actually blue, not bad blue at all. Raspberry, red, fruit punch, glacier cherry, cherry, lemon lime, duh, arctic blitz, watermelon honey, arctic summit blitz. storm, grape melon, glacier freeze, uh -huh. mixed berry. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put some more of the magic find away, and we'll get another two open socket helmet. You can see how easy and great it is to have two open socket helmets. You know what, Llama? I'm going and to we'll be just nice go to you for this. from now on. You're a really Thank good you. guy, and I actually really like you, and you're my favorite streamer. Wow. No more restraining order jokes. Thank you. You don't even have that many anyway. All right, I have none, so let's just remember that. So we're putting this in here because now for our mana gain purposes, it's actually super helpful just for the mana sustain. Not that it was the biggest issue. You could also do Neftir for Nadir, and then you could have Cloak of Shadow charges um, to carry into like the Chaos Sanctuary or something, but I'm not crazy worried about it. I'd rather get all the mana per kill hey, that Mr. we can. Lama, hey. It was cool to meet you in an actual Diablo 2 online session. Can I have my Shaco back that you borrowed from me? It really appreciate it. It's the saddest things that I see in the comments, man. Okay, now make sure you set back to players 1 before fighting Duriel. You don't really want to do a players 3 Duriel. But we were able to get level 20 in Act 2 by running at players 3, which, like I say, is just helpful um, so that we don't have to spend a ton of time in Act 3, like, farming random bosses. We'll do Exploding Arrow again, and more Vitality. Same all, same all. And here... Ooh, a Flawed Ruby. And here's where we can actually do a fun little trick that you may or may not already know. We've talked about it. If you've watched a lot of my channel, you probably know it. But you can come back here, and you can chug a bunch of thawing potions. And every one you drink is 30 seconds of 50% cold res. So right there, we just got five minutes. We're at seven and a half minutes of 50% cold res now. Hey man, I know I joke around a lot, but I will support you for a million years. Thank you. I never mean the jokes. It's just laughs. Much love. You're a really good guy and the community here is great. Wow. Don't listen to Llama's lies. Every character named Llama is him. He has personally scammed my out of three Shackos, 10 SOJS, and even sold me a George Foreman grill that doesn't cook chicken all the way through. He's a monster. Hey, Llama. It was a pleasure to meet you in real life. Can I have my hammer back, please? Now that you've used it to remove the ankle GPS tracker? Thanks. Show us Daryl glitch. If Okay, if you want, you can glitch Daryl by putting him in a bad spot. It's kind of tough. Yeah. Uh, fresh meat. We don't need to do it. 
But you, you can have them jamming up. Thanks, Sammy. I haven't practiced it a ton lately, so it's it can be a little difficult sometimes. There you go. And you can just kill him from right here. Um, it is pretty difficult to do, honestly. So that's a great way to fight him in, like, Nightmare in Hell, where he gets extra annoying. Zami Senpai with the T2 sub. Thank you. Angelic Ami, let's see. Oh, Irathas. How disappointing. Put it in our little area. Keep that. We could have put our MF gear on. That probably would have been a good thing to, to do there. You look really different in person than online, but you were very gentle and I appreciate that. Let's do it again next Friday. Your turn to pay for the expensive dinner. Don't know why you aren't replying to my texts. Oh boy. And just like that, Give yourselves a clap. You have completed act two of normal. Easy. We'll go back to players three. And uh, good job, everybody. We'll get Basanti back. We'll have her join us. <sighs> Fresh meat. Thanks, Webby. Thanks, Vanilla. However, I use that phrase in real life all the time. Mm -mm. Looks delicious. It's pretty good. Kill some bad boys. I can. I can't carry anymore. Combat shrine, pretty irrelevant for us, but that's okay. Find act three to be boring? I think it's a fun act. Now I have a video for how to really Understand Act 3 maps, I would recommend it. I told myself I would tier 2 sub and throw some bits your way once I did all of your guided playthroughs. What is all of them? to do so than another guided playthrough? Here is to a speedy nightmare run. Wow. Hey, Mr. Llama. Now that you have driven your pregnant wife to the hospital, can I have my car back? I can't. For sure. Yes, there's a whole how to get through these um, maps. He recommends his own videos, shocker. Yeah, because I I took a lot of time to make video guides on all of these things. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna recommend them. <laughs> You've done five of the guides? Sick. Nah, emulation is garbo. Don't bother. Unfortunately. Don't recommend the llama climbing guide? Well, the climbing guide was okay. The falling guide was the one that needed work. Oh yeah, we need to do randomment too at some point here. Get that bonus skill point. Mental map pack video is useful. Good. Dun, 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 dun. I can't. Impossible. Sudden stop was the worst part. Yeah. Impossible. It's not fun to say the least.
Kill some baddies. Don't forget TP staff. Yep. We'll be going over that soon. Tough break. Nice, Kurt. Yeah, now we're just running through, seeing what uh, what we get in the area here. Looks like we're gonna run into a dead end. Kind of a weird map. So we can go back to that waypoint. Can chat sponsor the fire suit for D2R release day? Bro, that better be one heck of a sponsor. Gonna embarrass me like that. Hi, welcome to all the new people. Here I am in my fire suit. <laughs> welcome to Chili's. Ah, fresh meat. Thanks, Bard. Do you see yourself playing Pluggy after D2R comes out? I mean, Pluggy's not gonna be on D2R. We want all the new people visiting the stream to think that we're some, like, established professional streamer, you know? Not a guy who is gonna be in a wife beater two weeks later, grinding to 99, hating his life, you know? Spratus, thank you! Exploding arrow and vitality. Welcome back. I can't. <sighs> Fresh Why would you want to mislead people like that? Because for a second, it'll make me feel better. Thanks, Barstools. I can't carry you know, have you ever thought how you have an image, you know, to a lot of the people in your life, right? Your parents, your friends, whatever, co-workers, they all know you in some capacity. But if you were to go and meet someone brand new, Impossible. you could be whoever you wanted and that's who they would believe that you are. Right? Like they don't know any of your past. Thank you, UNSC. Mwah. They don't they don't know, you know, all your embarrassing stuff or whatever things right you could even be batman if you wanted so i'm not saying lying's okay i'm just saying you know you can reinvent yourself if to a new group of people so what if we reinvent ourselves to all the new viewers that are coming over. Bam! Who is this? Professional is streamer. Why, hello there. Great Thank with the so women. Chat. The most powerful item for a Balazan. I'll be sure to correct And you he's got a little bit of a sexy European accent. Huh? Huh? I've been working on that. Join my army. Can I ask a pretty serious question? Girls Have love European accents. Jokes and stuff ever caused any actual issues in real life? All right, the accent needs a little bit of work. We're still we're still figuring it out. That's still figuring that one out. I mean, some people actually believe it, so. I'm like Brandon Sorry, Cooperbatch. Mama. Camel Corp cannot be reinvented. Camel Corp is eternal. If you never did that accent again, it would still be too soon. Come on, it was a pretty good accent. All right. Can I speak some Italian? Buongiorno. Eh, not bad.
Oh no. Silencio Bruno. <laughs> Oh, God. Thanks, True Blue. Sorry, yeah, I got a restless leg syndrome. Sometimes it just shakes on its own accord. Stashes and chests, what am I hoping for? I mean, I'd love to get some, like, uniques or sets or, you know, some, like, Hisaris boots, whatever. You can get anything in there, but rings, gems, jewels, a lot of those drop. You know, it's nice. I think Twitch actually requires us to inform new people of the restraining orders. That's... I don't have any. See, all the new people are gonna think that's not a joke. It's a joke for everybody. Bad joke that chat came up with. Can you add the character details? Oh, whoops. Yeah, I thought I had them up. My bad. I did have them up. They were just slightly off the screen. Excuse me, Mr. Lame Ah, you didn't answer me. Uh -huh. What is it in your opinion the most powerful item for Bowazon? Answer now. And in four seconds I'll answer you which one it truly is. Faith. Keep thinking. Go on. Say it. <sighs> Fresh meat. Escrows with five gifted subs. Where did 800 subs disappear to? They left. We woke up and lost 600 subs. 800, 700, probably about 700. The life of a streamer. Daddy Bezos took him back, yep. Two dexterity, doesn't really matter for us. Light res five, we've got our fire res. Ah, fresh meat. Thanks, FPS Dad. Greetings. Thank you, Yellow Baron. Don't make as many streams as I like, but love your content. Thank you. Exploding Arrow. And I'm actually going to go five to strength here, just because I want to put on my Frost Nova booties. But once again, it's, you know. Aw, oh, thanks, Search. Mwah! You, you kind of quit worrying about that. When you're first starting out streaming and you have like whatever, then whenever you wake up and your sub count's like 50 less, you like freak out about it. But eventually you you get immune to it. You recognize, yeah, that's just how it goes. The subs go up, the subs go down. It's all good. 800 subs found his only fans and had no choice but to leave. Wow. The rest of us are sorta kinda okay with it. A gift for you. <laughs> kind of okay for it. Y'all were the ones begging for it. Impossible. Darn you're wrong, sir. I'm afraid you can't use faith without the most powerful item called arrows. Darn you uh, faith that you'd be smarter than that. Dang it. And you call yourself a Diablo 2 streamer, and yeah. supposedly this was a guided playthrough. Oh well. <sighs> Knew there was a trick to it. Now, can I shoot a magic arrow without even having arrows in my bow? Since it doesn't use arrows? Because... Yes, you can. Ha! Oh, it finally worked! Oh, our lack of magic. We don't have magic find on now. But it doesn't matter. Huzzah! We got him! 20 IAS gloves! Love it. So these are fantastic. These will be like for the rest of the game pretty much. They are level 28 required. That's one of the downsides. But 40 to life on top of it is very nice. Love to see it. Give me those bad boys. Thank you, Fetal Ninja. Love to see it. I keep moving. For you. Hey, Mr. Llama. Hey. Second month with audio. Never knew stream could be that much better, Kappa. 
Everybody always has audio, so, you know, just as a reminder. Um, yeah, so you you really want to find... And the thing is, you can shop some 20, 20 IS gloves when you do get into Nightmare. So it's not like if you don't find a pair of sanders or whatever, you're Mom not ever going to get them. To make my own D2 but for all here we get them a little earlier, which I'll is nice. And with 40 life. Ready for those Grim Ward and Enchant Mains, Kappa. Oh god. Something something restraining order. Something something finally have audio. That's good. That's funny. You got you, you, you nailed it. Thanks, Oni style. Thanks, Chamel. And man, you can see our mana issues are like non existent now, which is so nice. I mean if if you haven't run this character without any energy and like no mana per kill gear you won't understand how nice it is to have all of the mana and mana per kill that we do have right now it's it's so nice not running into i need mana every like three seconds is just heaven So we'll go ahead and grab the Jid bin. Identify some things. And that's a winner in my books. 15 magic find with 28 cold and 12 fire res. Hard to beat that. It's one of the better rings that he's ever going to give you. And 7 to life grand charm. We'll go ahead and, or large charm we'll keep. We'll get rid of the poison. Can put that there. Go from here. Put these away. Put our runes away. And we can keep rolling. Yeah, the kid bin. Thank you, Emroy. Thank you for Tess. PHT Evans gifted a tier one sub to X Mokashiroku. Thank you ah. for you. Just resub because I heard you were going sub only for the D2R release soon well, and I don't want true. to miss anything. All right, don't start lies. <sighs> Fresh meat. Cole Avenue and JD King. <sighs> and Death's Blight. Oh my god, why did she die? Had to stand right on top of the lightning, huh? Now, of course, as you've seen in other videos, if you ever want to just farm gold or gems or jewels or whatever, get that armor piece in your queue. Bases, all sorts of things. You can just run around uh, here. Oh yeah, berserkers. You can just run around the lower crust and pop all of the hollow logs and all of the things, whatever, and there'll just be all sorts of stuff. And if you do this on players eight, you'll get even more things. So a great way to just get a little bit of extra something, something, you know? So Llama, on your quest well, to useful nine, on normal, you more on Uber nightmare and hell. To take advantage of all the experience possible, or will you play it safer with ball runs and such? Uber Join runs don't give experience now. I'm sorry, chat. I couldn't stop but notice that most of you aren't subbed. If you want HD stream sub now, use Twitch Prime if you have it too. Subscribe to Tier 2 for sound. Experience. Subscribe to Tier 3 for Diablo 2 R-E-S-U-R-E-C-T-E-D for free. And That's also right. image. Dot dot dot. Also, Llama, you look great on my new 4K Ultra HD 27-inch screen, lol. Wow. <sighs> Fancy. Fresh meat. Thank you, Hazy. Keep rolling and look at this. We're already level 23. That is amazing. <sighs> it means we'll not run into any of these leveling issues and need to keep leveling here. Thank you, sorts. I do not claim any truth <sighs> for what Fresh was just meat. said by Black Caver. Thank you, Cybernetic Soul. Mwah. Dot dot dot, but also more. 
<laughs> you think we can hit that big 10k sub goal after D2R launch? Just do like a straight month of streaming. It's the, the 50 sub emote slots, I think, or whatever. So we do want to get the waypoint. I'm going to go ahead and come in here and we will kill this. And I can point to you guys and show you how we know where this is. Ooh, a rare jewel. I can't carry anymore. Okay, we'll get Lame Essence Tomb. So, which in the Kuras Bazaar, whichever temple is facing this direction is always going to be the ruined temple with the uh, tome in it. Will I buy a llama to save it? Well, we'll donate a llama. Yeah, we could do that. I can't. And now. No, to a needy family so they can have the fur and the milk. Impossible. <sighs> Fresh meat. Thank you, time for a goat. And let's find the waypoint here. Join my army of the dead. Last time a llama was donated, the family was very grateful for all the llama burgers they could now they make. They did not eat the llama. It's not eaten. Now, the Kuras Bazaar and then running right there is a great place to get any of the added experience if you do need any. So let's say that you're not level 23 right now. You're like 21 or 20, whatever it is. That is a great place to just simply farm to do so. Sixty-eight attack rating doesn't really do us a lot. And we keep rolling. But really, I mean, we're focusing on, you know, killing these boss groups and their minions. Gem shrine to upgrade to a ruby. Very nice. I have been saving up this money for five years to finally get audio on the stream. It might have been my entire life's savings, but I am just so happy to finally. Wait, it didn't work. Oh my god. Sorry, Llama, you uh -huh. are right. They didn't Thank eat you. the Llama. It went to live on a nice farm in the country. Thank Same you. place old Yeller retired to Kappa. Wow. So, for the Flare Dungeon... Uh, just gonna grab these pieces, then we can go and turn in the tome. I believe we also have the Gade figurine to turn in, so... A little bit to still do in Act 3 here to complete all these quests. Grab some health and keep rolling here. No need to kill the fire immune guy. Put this away. And perfect. Let's go sell and take care of these quests. So we'll get rid of Berserkers, have freeze, seven to max damage, one to mana per kill. Actually kind of nice, but we're not going to be using it. Because the max damage doesn't do a lot, and one mana per kill is less than the two that we would get. 12 cold res. Not, neither of those are going to replace any of these things. The attack rating doesn't really matter. We'll hold on to the ruby. And we'll come down here to Mishif. Good day. So you can do that. You don't even need to talk to Kane about the golden bird. We're just going to take everything up to Alcor.
and be good to go there. Okay. Drink that. Put some rejuves away for the future. Put some gold away. Let's get a few more potions and arrows. Let's kind of restock on everything a little bit here. And we can go really fast just to get some stamina potions. Because it gets a little bit annoying to run out of stamina. Give Timmy a sandwich. What gloves are in the stash? We have Sanders gloves there. So we'll go back to the Cross Bazaar. Do forge for a ruby chance? Yeah. I like the forge for that. Flawless and perfects. See if there's anything here. Doesn't look like it. I can't. But a little bit of experience, which you always like. A lot of area to explore down here. So let's get some exploration. What Sanders do? 20 IS, 40 to life. Very good gloves for this character because, like we said, shooting fast is a uh, primary goal for sure. Thank you, King Viking. So yeah, now we'll just kind of run around the sewers and just finish up Act 3 here. I'd say go Players 1 for Travancle as well when we get there. Just something to think about. I can. But Impossible. first we just need to go here. Good enough. Chat says save Kane. Chat's wrong. Kane's doing just fine. He got himself out, so. We'll set that there and then we'll just kind of move forward really quickly. We do have some super poison going on right now, so it's pretty annoying. I am Taking all of our life and extremely hard to outheal. I can't. Time to buy Tally Staff? Yep. Not enough mana. Yes, it is. Just before level 24. And if you're past level 24, it's not end of the world. But let's make sure to go players one here. So we spawn them on P1. Finally a well to get rid of this poison. And... Continue down. Continue looking around. Did we get a center map? Seeming extremely likely that we did. Maybe this cuts out to it. It does, okay. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what we mean by getting a teleport staff. So just prior to level 24, or any time prior, as long as you're 19, you can start shopping for a staff that is going to have teleport charges on it. So I wanna see where's, uh, nothing with charges there. 
anytime right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and you can just look and you wanna find the staves that are going to be red. Not like this red, but red as in unusable. This is because it's required level 24, which is what a teleport staff is going to be required. Okay, so you can just reset, move through, look for the red staves, and if you find it, you're good. If not, you aren't. So we're looking for a staff that has teleport charges, okay? Not plus to teleport sorceress only, teleport charges. This can be used by any character. Why a red staff? Because it's required level 24 and we're level 23. If you are already level 24, then you will just need to look at every single staff for it. But here you can see like this, this is firewall, nova, chain lightning, and fireball charges. So we want that to be teleport charges. As you can see, that red staff had teleport on it, but that was not, Hello. not it. Because that's teleport, not charges. So there's enchant charges, enchant charges. So you can just run back and forth here. Glacial spike charges. Okay. Don't forget to check the wands too. If you get two TP wands, your TP will go twice as far at half the cost. Oh my god, that's not... Don't listen to Camel at all. Um, now... Is this 100% required? No. You can definitely play through the game without any teleport charges. Um, see ya. But it's very helpful and very nice for jumping over a wall. You don't want to have to, you know, go all the way around or getting out of a tricky area. Maybe there's a mob in the, you know, maggot lair that's super annoying and you just want to teleport past it. It's just so useful in all of those cases. And I highly recommend having a source of teleport somehow, whether this or maybe find an amulet with teleport charges on it, whatever it is. Um, very easy and simple and nice and just helpful. So anyways, you can just do that over and over and over again. And you forgot the simplest way. Just get an enigma. Ta-da, boom, eventually you'll find one. Cool. Chat, please remember to check out Llama's Discord to sign up play teams through. to play with on launch day. We don't need this to farm for 10 minutes. From casual, new players to speedrunning and everything in between. There's something for everyone. We don't need to farm for 10 minutes. It's a guided playthrough. They new understand. Kill all the monsters, no ifs, ands, or buts. I just wanted to show the style of how it goes. But eventually saving a little time for everybody is better. Okay, I can come over here. Try not to die. Grab the charm. And smack the orb. And we'll keep going exploding arrow and vitality, even though immolation arrow has opened up. Because once again, this doesn't really matter to us. For defense, not worth it. Thank you, Tom Norris. And now let's finish up act three here if we can. Nice grays. Is Jeed's a rare find? Eh. Medium. Are we playing Nightmare today? Nightmare will be tomorrow. We do one act per day with this. I found that was just the best way to balance it. So we can get the waypoint if we want. Because Mephisto farming is a little nicer. Once again, in normal, it's not like the greatest thing ever. But it's okay. You know? 
it's okay. You can get a couple items that are that are definitely decent. Sorry, one difficulty per day, not one act. <laughs> Come over here. Yeah, it's a very nice farming map if we did want to farm more. And now we can either decide if we want to fight Mephisto straight up, or you can just cheese him by dragging him down here and just running around. Right? Just the standard. You want to kill these guys. Just remember folks Enigma as ITH Jabia. That's right. And you can just stand over here and cheese them and not have to worry. And the bow is on benefits for sure. So. Not enough mana. Nice you up dome. I need mana. Nice and easy. So. Anyways, if you want to do that, you can. If you want to fight them, man up on them, you can do that as well. There we go. I can't carry my own. Way to send the wrong message to new players. Shame on you. Really? Join my army of the dead. On about shame. It ain't easy being cheesy. And just like that, Act 3 is completed. And we're good to go. And here's our reflex bow. But you can see the stats, you know, 60 to, to dexterity, 35 to strength. For what? The plus one bow crossbow? I mean, our current bow just does better. Straight up. 7% uh, fast run walks. Actually not a bad grand charm. We'll go ahead and hold on to that. We don't need any of those other things there. We can go. Let's grab this. Load up a little bit. And, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and tackle Act 4 now. I can't. Why not pick up the Soul Stone? Eh, we'll get it later from Kane. Kane will always give you another Soul Stone, so... Makes it nice. We're level 24 as well, so we should be pretty good. We might run just a little bit short of level 25 heading into Act 5. If we do, that's totally fine. We can just go farm it again. In Act 4, I wouldn't recommend running Players 3 or any of the extra players counts because Exploding Arrow definitely is its weakest here. Um, there's a lot of like fire-resistant monsters and stuff. So it's going to be a little bit harder to kill stuff here. Being on P1 will be recommended for sure. Also, is there a point in killing stuff here? I mean... It's usually better to just kill in Act 3, but hey, like, look at this massive group of mobs. You know, it's not terrible. At level 24, we get some okay experience. Here's a little boss group. If you want to kill this, you can. I mean, you know, it's not awful. You can still get some experience out here. Why don't you cheese Diablo as well? Get him behind the pillar, slightly showing out of the pillar, but not enough for him to actually hit you. But right. you can splash attack him with explosive. Yeah, we do that sometimes. Takes a lot to set up, though. Usually you can just kill him faster. Murder as fun, Llama. Let nothing survive. Also, sometimes it's fun to just murder stuff. Exactly. So, Planes of Despair, we're going to want to find Isual, uh, as plus two skill points is great. Ah, I still forgot to do Radaman. It's not a massive deal, but you know. I can't. We'll find him eventually. I can't. Yeah, guided arrow is not really good for PVM. Impossible. Oh, he's fine, Emroy. So he's gonna be pretty annoying. Um, one big tip I can say is. Having an Act 2 Mercenary 
is very nice for this. So I'll show you in a second. Let's just kind of clear out a couple mobs here first. Where's Basanti? She's she's overstayed her welcome. No cold length reduction. Yeah, also having half freeze duration is actually pretty nice. But let's take Basanti's stuff. Thank you, Basanti. You did great. Let's go ahead and get. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. Uh, let's grab a combat, sure. Let's get him a pike from Act 4, so he gets some good damage. What do we need? No pikes, really? Really? All right, just use this for now. Okay, and then you can literally just go slightly out of the range, and it's so helpful. And then just feed your mercenary potions whenever their health gets low. Makes it way better. Not really football. Spears on? Please don't make me do a spears on. I'm feeding my mercenary potions by using shift one. If I press one, I drink a potion. If I press shift one, it gives it to my mercenary. You can also hover over your mercenary and drop it there. That's the same idea. But shift plus whatever number will give him that. Now let's go ahead and put into here so we can be ready for freezing arrow at 30. Yeah, they won't drink mana potions. So it's you can only give them health and rejuve potions. And thawings and antidotes and those as well, technically. So everything but mana, really. It doesn't matter, Arthur. I don't need any penetrate or anything right now. I hit 100% with my exploding piece, and that's all I need. How do you heal your mercenary on controller? Beats me. Uh, oh, wait, actually, I know. Um, you quit being a scrub and don't play on controller. Try. Sorry, I forgot about that real fast. Ugh. Just kidding. There's maybe some hotkey somewhere. Oh no, mercenary died. It's okay. The controller was actually kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. Not on the console or anything, but on the PC it actually wasn't terrible implementation. Okay, let's go do Radiment really fast. What Arthur Dent meant to say is with penetrate your explosive arrow can explode multiple times against a group of enemies. No. That's Pierce. That comes at level 30. Scrub. 
found the controller player. I can. Impossible. <laughs> Can't. Meatball sub? Mm -hmm. Impossible. I can't. Yeah, controller menu was kind of rough. Gameplay wasn't bad though. So I'm actually going to save this skill. I want to put it in exploding area again at 30. Thank you, Escros. I propose you do a tier list for items coded in the game but not activated. I further propose Merman Sprocket to be S tier. Ah, good old Merman Sprockets. Love them. Join my army. All right, let's do the chaos. Llama hating console players, telling them to buy PC instead, but instead they buy PC and use controllers on PC5 head plays right there. Finger looking ASMR stream when? Mm, 20 seconds ago. I have a napkin. I'm wiping my hands off. Oh god. It's a lot of bad boys right there. So you do want to be a little careful getting into the cast sanctuary. It can be a little difficult sometimes. Eh, not too much of one summon. I tried some stuff with it and just wasn't as impressed as I was hoping. A gift for you. Holy hash I owe doll 26 months and loving every minute of my time here. Thanks, way. Glad you're enjoying. But here you can definitely see our... Uh, Killing potential has gone down, right, in Act 4. Just a lot of fire res here. Makes it very difficult. So you gotta go a little slower through the Chaos Sanctuary for sure. Now one thing you can do is you can cheese these monsters by standing a little bit away. Kind of shoot into them. As they'll stay on a leash to their boss. And, uh, yeah. Not enough mana. I need mana. Makes it nice and easy. Just like uh, anybody. Uh, and a marriage is on a leash to their wife. Exactly. You got it. Same sort of deal. They, they cannot leave. Now, if you go to town and come back, then they'll break that leash. So. <sighs> Fresh meat. Thank you, Beam, Beam Daddy, Daddy Way, Techno, Black Aver, and Escrows from before. 
They don't always break the leash, but they have the potential to. Yep, just exploiting their aggro range, exactly. Are eating SpaghettiOs? You know, I went to the store when I was a grown-up, like 29 or something, and I was like, I haven't had SpaghettiOs in forever. I remember these being the bomb.com when I was a kid. And man, they were awful. <laughs> they were so, so low quality. Just a, a truly terrible, I don't know how they were so good as a kid. I need mana. Let's grab some arrows and mana. Sugar, that's how. I mean, but I still love sugar. My sugar addiction hasn't gone anywhere. But those, those were bad. More like Regretios, but for real. I'm not sure if they always tasted that bad or if the ingredients have just gotten worse over the years because, you know, companies just constantly are cutting prices and making stuff worse and worse. I don't know. Either way, though, not worth it. I need mana. They were always bad. It's fair. Ooh, maiden javelins rare. No real help for us, but still cool to find. You kinda want some SpaghettiOs? I promise you, you do not. They're so bad. Chef Boyardee are still good? Yeah, they weren't bad. Kill the bad men. Oh, there's so many baddies to kill here. Now, we will run into a fire immune up here. This is where we can either just get our mercenary to help out. He'll very easily just kill Vizier. Or we can uh, fight ourselves. We do have that cold arrow. I can't. So, you know, we could try and whittle him down, see how it does. But first, we'll clear everything else out here. And you can see we're almost going to be 25. So, we'll just have a tiny bit of farming to do. Who remembers Gogurt? It's like yogurt, but in a tube. Yeah. Did anybody ever really eat it on the go, though? I feel like I just sat down at the kitchen table and ate Gogurt. Or had it in a lunch or something, you know? Okay, so now if we want to use Ice Arrows. Totally a way to work and kill him. Or, of course, just go get the Mercenary and he'll murder really quickly. Go Gurt was always second fiddle to Trix yogurt. Mmm, Trix yogurt was delicious. It's a good call. Hey, Bero. How you doing? I can't. And there you can see he just he does the job. Good job, mercenary. I can't carry anymore. Um, good guide for a necro. Uh, yeah, just on my, on my YouTube there. Regular yogurt was not portable enough. <laughs> I guess not, F2B. Thank you! I 
I would say any of my necro guided playthroughs and or my necro speedruns are both going to be decent options. Or you can just keep your distance and just hit with some exploding arrows and uh, yeah nice and easy avoid the lightning which he is just loving right now Diablo is just on a Fresh lightning meat. craze man thanks looper rockstopper is a great helm rockstopper is one of the best budget like cheap helms in the game dr tri res hit recovery amazing and solid too Speaking of cereal, today I learned those cardboard tasting pieces in Lucky Charms are actually the cereal. No, I you're supposed to remove those. They were there to protect the marshmallows in shipping. Yeah, they're just the filler. I don't, I don't, I think you're wrong on that still. Double check your source. I mean, they really made it as awful as they could, didn't they? The Lucky Charm cereal is truly the lowest grade cereal that exists. Oh, found some 20 faster run walks. I think those are going to replace our booties. 20 faster run walk is just so, so nice. Lucky Charms are so good. The marshmallows. I'm saying the cereal itself is like, what? And again, we get to this and it's like, oh, it has more damage and all these things, but it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter, you guys. But give yourselves the clap. Act four is done. <laughs> GG. And we can go to Act 5 now. But we're not level 25 yet. So what do we say? If we're not 25, we can exit, rejoin, and we go and just do a, a quick little note, leveling. I am amazed right? it is legal to sell most cereals Let's go as player a 7. At best, it's a dessert lull. Oh, yeah. I mean, the entire cereal aisle has more sugar in it than the candy aisle, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's insane. We're just going to go player 7. And just come over here and do Serena. There we go. Nice, easy way to get experience. I mean, look at how fast that is, you guys. Absolutely murdering. Did we remember out of it? Yep. And now we're good to go back to players one. We're level 25. We're putting a point in exploding arrow and vitality. And just continuing, right? I'm just using this bow. Very simple bow. And at this point, we could totally have a bow that is three Rao runes if we had found Rao runes. And then we'd be doing really buco damage, right? Really be uh, amping it up there. Also, is this like one to five lightning damage really a lot? Eh, it's okay. Or Zephyr. Or Zephyr. Which is what we're going to be doing. Is that is that a word? Buko damage? I feel like that... Like a lot... B -b 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 what, what word am I thinking of? B -b -b I can't. French? Impossible. That means a lot? Yeah. See? Thank you. I knew I wasn't crazy. Is it Boku? Well, 
Well, I can't pronounce. I don't speak French. I just know. Merci beaucoup. Look at me. I'm like a little uh, French boy. In America, we say buku. Oh. I was going for Boku. 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 Dot. Boku. Gift. Cheese. Gamble. Gift. Gidbe. A gift for you. Finally, I can hear the audio. Thanks, Mr. Lama. I don't know about Mr. all those Lama. She did say Jeed, though, didn't she? Not crazy. I'm a little French boy, and I will beat you. Now, this is where we come to a place where we can actually farm a decent amount. So if you choose, and this is where I would definitely recommend, you can just crank that player's count up right here. And just lay into some dudes. Great place to get some levels prior to going to the Ancients and going forward. Because, you know, when you get to Nightmare and stuff, heading into Nightmare around like player level, you know, 33 or whatever is, is always more helpful, right? But you can see, I mean, just how much experience we just got right there for very little trouble at all. Can you slash players in D2R? Yes. Online, you cannot do this, but you can just have players in the game somewhere else, and then it increases that, right? So just a nice, easy way to really quickly gain a few levels in a few minutes. I'll just gain one level here, and then we'll go forward, but I would recommend doing this for a few levels for sure. like this. Let's see if the bot can handle it. Wow, that was perfect French. It's not worth it to check Act 1 for all the experience shrines generally, um, because you're not killing a lot here, but if you are planning on like moving forward with it, then yes. We'll go back to Players 1. Ollie five thousand five hundred seventy exploding three gifted arrow. a tier one sub to Mr. Camel. And vitality. This is their first gift sub in the channel. So Mr. Camel, hold on. Having multiple players in my game, but then they might ninja my loot. Hash be ring back personal loot. Don't even. Mr. Camel wasn't subscribed to the channel. I missed a socketed edge bow. Ooh, let's go look at that. Disappointed. Ah, oh, one open socket. Take his VIP status away. I concur. <laughs> Scusi. So we're gonna go and uh, just save the barbs now. That'll give us a Ral, an Ort, and a Tal rune, which obviously is Ancient's Pledge, but we don't really need an Ancient's Pledge because we're not using a bow. But the Ort rune does allow us to make Zephyr, which is helpful. You feel too bad to unsub? Never feel too bad to unsubscribe from a channel. It's always fine. If you want to support a streamer, you can continue to support a streamer. If you don't, there's never any like ill will, anything like that. It's all totally fine. Everybody, please do what is best for yourself. As I've said many times on this channel, especially if you cannot afford it, please do not subscribe. Um, I am doing just fine. I, I will 
be totally fine, as will many other streamers. So please take care of yourself first. A gift for you. Here's the sub you wanted, Master. May I eat today? Not how that was supposed to go down. So now we do. Um, oh I mean, no, I the think bow. I'd feel bad if I left you to your own devices. <laughs> uh, I would survive. So now at this point, the added fire damage is nice, but being able to shoot faster is worth worth more because I don't have three rows. Slow dive, thank you. Three rows is also a possibility, but if we're gonna move into freezing arrow, then I definitely want to have the the zephyr because I'll only be shooting the fire half the time, right? So at this point, let's just find a two open socket hunter's bow. And again, why hunters? Because it's the fastest bow here. Llama says he is doing just fine. I do have but three rows though. Oh yeah, you're right. I do. Parents and sell his talus bone on the black market to pay for roach damage at his old apartment. Subscriptions to Llama count as charitable donations within the U.S. <laughs> I know you say not to, but I'm really poor and I need to support you, so I fist dudes to pay for my sub. Oh my god. I'm sorry I, LL have to unsub Master Llama you haven't provided with food in four days. And my rent is coming up. Can't afford four dollars. Gotta keep it to pay my six thousand dollars rent to you sad face. <sighs> Fresh meat. I believe a perfect ruby maybe outdoes a Rao rune in terms of damage. Maybe. I'm trying to remember exactly. Kilting with five gifted subs. Mwah. Okay, so we're gonna make Ort rune to be and clear, Eth rune subs and donations for to Zephyr. Do not actually count as charitable donations. Please do not sue me or Llama, but mostly me. Right. <sighs> Thank you, Walk Bottom. So why is this good? Well, 25 Faster Run Walk is obviously nice. We love running a little faster, avoid stuff, yada, yada, yada. P Ruby is 15 to 20, and that's 5 to 30, so it's pretty much the exact same then, just a different, less average. Um, but you get 25 IAS as well, which remember, on this character is worth a ton, because then we go bam, 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 and we hit with a lot of explo explosions, which is super nice. Um, we also have minus target defense, we have the attack rating, a little added lightning damage, whatever. Uh, all those things are okay, but the main thing is we're just really trying to shoot off as fast as we possibly can. So. Don't worry guys, Llama is doing just fine with all that money he took from little Timmy. Hashtag justice for Timmy, hashtag where's Timmy Llama? Techno! Wow! the 94.99! Make sure to have plenty of fast food on order in the coming weeks. You're going to need it. <laughs> that is honestly true. Went from never really beating the game to beating it with every character multiple times. Wow. Can't wait for D2R. Love you, Llama. <sighs> GG, bud. Is that me rapping? Yeah, exclamation mark rap. Thank you, Grand Alpaca and Master Chief. And Tegno again with that 94.99. You're really trying to avoid the boot, huh? All right, I won't boot you anymore. If you don't want more boot, you don't have to boot. We hit 500 followers on Spotify, by the way, for Immortal King. How awesome is that? Thank you guys who followed. Impossible. I got an alert today. It said, you hit 500 followers on Spotify. When you drop in your next song. Oh, thank God. I was like, you too. <laughs> I'm still surprised it's that good. Thank you. Me too. Is it the best rap I've ever heard in my life? No. Do I enjoy listening to it though? Yeah. Can't can't be upset about that. 
Fresh. If I can jam to my own things, I am a happy llama. Gifted a tier one sub to Void underscore seven hundred eleven. Thank you, Braves, babe. <laughs> To be honest, I was expecting the rap song to be much, 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 much worse. All right, we don't need to much, much that much. That's a bit much, don't you think? We didn't expect it to be that bad. Jeez. You sub before you followed? Well, yeah, don't forget to follow, too. Thank you, though. Oh, Bo's on normal run? Bo's on hell. Part normal today, part nightmare tomorrow, part hell on uh, wedding is day. Wait, third of his day. Impossible. Yeah. When you unveiled Mortal King, we weren't sure. Mortal King was a great troll, though, right? I mean, come on, Mortal King. Because I actually even slightly believed Mortal King was real as well. Thor's day. How you doing, Braves, babe? How are the Braves Next doing? Next rap should be called The Resurrection. Don't call it a comeback. He's been here for years. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> it's called Thursday because it's the third day of the week. Is it? Mortal King or Riot? I don't even know where that Mortal King song is. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Just followed on Spotify? Danke she. Wasn't there gonna be a chess rap? Julie did a little chess rap. Um, oh God, where did I put that thing? Where's my rap folder? It's gonna be somewhere in there. A gift for you. Nope. Join my army of the dead. Did you upload it to the hub for storage? Okay, Kappa. Here's the first one. Impossible. My name's Immortal King and I sling, sling the, the bling, bling bling. You'll find me tearing up a chaos or attacking with the blow as a fling. These arrows, I don't, I don't care, care about, about those the other demon, demon rap because, because the, the rap king is here and he's ready to kill you with his rap. rap. Ah, oh. <laughs> so that's what we debuted for people, and they were like, "Yep, sounds about right." <laughs> oh man, it has to be made into an alert. Please no. Do I have enough arrows for this? Yeah. Should be good. What? Uh. Oh yeah, it is. we're busy. Thank you though. How long does milk go bad? And eh, maybe we do need more mana pots for this. Ah, fresh meat. Maybe not you. We're good. Thank you. Captain Suckage! So we can come down here. And just stand right here, and uh, Madoc, or I mean Talok, won't whirlwind you. And then you're good to go.
So, pretty easy kill. Uh, also, at this point, we are going to spend a point on Crit Strike and Penetrate. And this is so then we can have a point for Pierce Fresh and for freezing her at the same time. Captain Suckage gifted a tier one sub to shoulders of giants 222. Now you can also go full fire right now and the then channel. do a respec at that point. That's up to you, right? So that's kind of uh, make that decision for yourself if you if you want to do like that or not or you know how you want to do it exactly. But let the penetratage begin. Let the penetratage begin. <sighs> Captain meat. Suggage, Chris Star, Techno, and Troubled Panda. Impossible. And I mean, we're not even really like farming experience up that much, and we're already leveling. I mean, this character really levels super well through normal. Very few issue whatsoever. She kills things super fast. Act 4 is the only place that it's a little bit tricky and difficult. Uh, we have to drink our milk, Mom said. Tastes like it's been sitting out for a while. I did break my bones. Need to heal them up. Would you recommend speeding to the end of hell then building up a character? No, I think building along the way is fun. I think I just got a chunk. Milk doesn't have calcium, by the way. How does it not have calcium? What are you talking about? Yeah, it's kind of like cottage milk. That's all we can do. That's all we can do, you guys. Chew your milk properly, I know. If you're getting chunks in your milk, you can save them to make a poutine. There you go. Chunky poutine milk. That twister actually just saved me right there. Very helpful, thank you. I can't. Did I get enough milk for everyone? Uh, I don't believe so. Mmm, crispix. I can't. Wow, camel. That was one time, BYD. A gift for you, Mr. Llama Love. What? Uh, you can take the milk. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave that. I'll eat the grapes and stuff. Thank you. Marinwen, thank you. Ooh, a composite bow. So composite bows do have higher requirements, but also a good attack speed, so you can definitely wear one of those. With llama jerky. Have you ever had any? It's the other 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 white meat. 
I don't think I have. Thank you for asking. Okay, I'll put some arrows on, and again, we'll have one to exploding. We'll save the 29 point for pierce and 30 for freezing arrow. Put the art rune away, do this, and again, we'll go ahead and just grab our mercenary for this wave, as otherwise, it's a just going to be a pain. You. What's this about milk? Do I need to disinfect after watching the stream now? Now, something you can actually do is you can stand next to Colenzo and he won't resurrect his other minions. Team smooth peanut butter has grown. They must be stopped lest their evil version of peanut butter corrupt all sandwiches. Llama, we need to remove Camel's VIP status. I agree. Pronto. I, I mean, I've always thought that. Hello, Mr. Llama Hello. SC. On Basin, it said that critical and deadly strike do not work with some skills like smite or impale, etc. Do yeah. you think they'll fix this in Resurrected? They better not fix that for smite. Smite's already too strong. Now you want it to have crit strike and stuff? How much damage do you want smite to do? Level 28, time for Sanders Gloves. Wave 4 is always going to be a pain because they do have the high fire res. But honestly, it's not the worst thing ever. Also worth okay experience, so not a terrible kill. Oh, sorry. I forgot I'm not a sub. I couldn't hear your response. Could you maybe spell it out for me in chat? Much appreciated, Kappa. Okay, so first off, we, we do have this, but now we have our sanded gloves. So we can attack even faster. Look how fast we attack. And this is also where having that energy and added mana is super helpful. Stay with me. This will sound weird, but is worth it. Uh huh. Drink a little milk. Okay. Hold it in your mouth. Then eat a little spoonful of chunky peanut butter. Let that mix in your mouth, then purse your lips and blow nice and slow. Really let those <laughs> peanut bits ease their way out. Plop, plop, plop. Feel it with your lips. Nice and slow. Plop, plop. It's mm. <laughs> the most disgusting thing I've heard. Okay, and again, we can try and play around with the uh, AI a little bit here. Did not need to imagine that at all. Not enough mana. I need mana. <laughs> I need mana. <laughs> nice to have you. Might almost be worth getting the uh, greater mana potions now at this point. Regular mana potions don't seem to always be doing it. Did you ever figure out the bail wave skip thing? Yeah. I don't do it in guided playthroughs, but yes, we did. It's pretty disgustingly awesome. It's a frame perfect trick though, so it's pretty tough. But it's possible. We, we do it a lot, actually, now. Okay. But Diablo 2 is only, only 25 FPS, so that helps a little bit, you know? I mean, it's still, you know, 25 frames in a single second. Still not easy, but... So at this point, if you would like to kill all these guys, you can. Or you can do the drag strat where you just drag them out there and you just teleport back in. And Bale will just laugh and think that you killed them or move on. He doesn't really care. They're out of his sight, so out of mind. And then you just go in. 
and uh, kill Bale. Now this character is not the fastest boss killer for sure. And it's going to get worse as we get into Nightmare in Hell. Um, so that's something that you should be aware of. Bosses for the boson are slow. And do get worse. But... She's really good in a lot of other areas, a lot of good AoE damage and stuff from all the explosions and the freezing and stuff, so overall it's nice. What's the fastest boss killer? Also the Amazon. The charge strike zone. Hell is too hard for your boson. Hell is very difficult for, for boson, for sure. Can't wait to see this well, in D2 this Army, too. Damage than my heist running jug, and he doesn't even use damaging skills, Kappa. No. It's not the best. Not the most damage you've ever seen. But she's okay, you know? She's not she's not the worst uh not the worst at it. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> you don't have to kill anything for heist, really? You just run around? Well, that's easy enough. I guess it's technically a heist, you know, not an assault. And just like that, give yourselves the clap. You have completed normal. Wow. <laughs> sure. Easy as that. Well done, chat. Look at all the claps. It's beautiful. Now we'll go back to the Crystalline Passage. And we'll go save Anya, get those 10 extra all res, because that will be a difficult with this difficulty with this character. Impossible. Resistances. This character, just all any two-handed character that doesn't get a shield, always just runs into the fact that there's just not you just you're just lacking so much res, you know? You're missing that crucial shield. So uh, we'll try and stack some additional res in other places. Maybe we'll find like a smoke armor or something that we can use later. Maybe we'll find, you know, a rock stopper. Or we'll just, for ourselves, just put three, you know, a Ral or Thol rune into a helmet. Um, you know, we'll, we'll figure out exactly how we want to want to do it. But yeah, we'll have to do something to get some res up a little bit later. Got to get Death Belt for Can't Be Frozen. Yeah, finding some sort of Can't Be Frozen will also be nice. Now, it's not as important as, like, a melee character, because obviously this character is going to uh, be able to, to, like, stay ranged. But it's still pretty Somebody helpful. Gave me the clap once, but I got a shot and it cleared right up. Oh, that's... How'd they... I don't understand that. Thank you, Sajin. Yeah, otherwise, being cold just definitely sucks. But, you know, like this, we can stay back, right? <laughs> we don't have to ever get hit. I can't. Hero. It's true, kill. Very true, Catholic. Either way, go do that. And 10 more all res. Very nice. 
How neat was that, chat? So let's do a quick overview of the gear, where we're at, where we want to go, um, all that stuff. So we have our Zephyr bow. I still think this will be best. I mean, like I say, Rao 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 is also fantastic right now, but um, getting into a Zephyr is not a terrible idea uh, because when we will move into Freezing Arrow and assists. Exploding Arrow By and God, having I this. I paid for 20 town portals and I'm going to use 20 town portals. <laughs> Um, we just have this tier tier helm right now, just for some mana. We'll probably shift this around in Nightmare. I'd love to get a lore helm. That would be great. Mana per kill, plus skill, plus light res. That'd be very nice. Um, little fire resist on an Ami. Nothing amazing. Definitely want something better there. Stealth armor. Very solid for right now. We'll eventually probably want to upgrade this. I'd love to work into a peace rune word because remember, plus to skills on this character is super helpful. IAS on the gloves. Um, so 20 IAS, 40 to life. Very nice. Love those. 9 energy, 30 light res. That's a great ring for us. Get some energy and good res. Our belt is literally nothing. It's just a belt. So I'll be looking for an upgrade for this in Nightmare for sure. Uh, a very nice ring. We'll probably take this all the way to endgame because it has 40 resistances in total that are good ones. And then 15 MF, which I like. And then 20 fast run walk with 11 fire res on the boots. So these are also very nice boots. We can use these for a while until we see something else. We could also imbue the belt or whatever, but... <sighs> I would rather imbue a belt that has 16 potion slots instead of 12. Then we have our telly staff. Um, I can probably get rid of some of these charms like this and this and that and whatever. When but I like the fast run walk and the life charms. So I'd keep probably keep those. Milk extracted during labor, since it contains crucial elements that can prevent illnesses in the future. And to my surprise, it turned out to be true. I haven't been sick since. Oh, that's not what they were. Okay. Anyways, uh, this is our current build right now. We are level 28. We have 16 Exploding Arrow. We're prepped and ready to get into Pierce here soon and prepped and ready to get into Freezing Arrow. Um, like I say, you could have pumped everything into Exploding and Fire Arrow until you got to 30 and then do like a respec into more Freezing Arrow. Honestly, you could play Freezing Arrow through the entirety of, of Nightmare without even Exploding Arrow or you could play Exploding Arrow through Nightmare without Freezing Arrow. Um, both are honestly super good. So I would say you can do any mix and match of these two skills kind of as you're moving forward here. Um, I'll, I'll definitely start focusing more, but you can tell, you can see that both of them really don't matter that much. Cold and our freezing arrow and exploding arrow are both only 40 skill points each. So it's really easy to actually get both of them pretty maxed out with their synergies because we'll just have a little bit in pierce. And then Exploding Arrow, Freeze Arrow, Cold Arrow, Fire Arrow. We don't really care about the freeze length from Ice Arrow. It's pretty, you know, whatever. Um, so that makes it super, super nice and super easy for this character to really start uh, racking up the damage. So anyways, I'm level 28 now. Like I say, I, I, I'd i go out here and just do some more, you know, killing uh, of this. Just, just farm Eldritch. And you can farm them on players... Um, you know, seven, players five, whatever whatever players count, you're, you're feeling comfortable. Here's a player's eight attempt on him. I need mana. And, I mean, it's just going to be worth a lot of experience. Nice and easy way to level up. I need mana. So you can just do this uh, real fast and level up to... I'd, I'd say somewhere in the mid 30s is usually pretty good before you before you go on you could you could do a little bit lower because this character actually is pretty solid um, so you could totally you know just go to like 30 31 32 whatever uh, and then move forward there because we will be farming nightmare countess to try and get some runes so regardless um, I hope that this was helpful I hope you had fun through normal and are ready to move into nightmare. Anyways, peace YouTube, see you in the next video.